I will Probably. survive. As long as I know I love, I know I'll stay alive. At first you were afraid, though. Lucas, or uh, Ernest, you're oh, up yeah. next. Terrified. <laughs> so I'm Ernest and I'm playing uh, Lucas the Anti-Druid and we'll see tonight if my character has uh, grown and will flee the fight or join and, and uh, defend my comrades. We'll, we'll find out. Hint. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Vegas called no. Uh, next up is Carol. Carol, who are you? Who are you playing? Oh, all right. So I said I'm Carol. I'm a longtime gamer. Uh, occasional GM and commission mini painter. And for the last time, I play Taryn Nilia, a Lindril, a Montreal, otherwise known as Taryn, my half wood elven, half high elven bard. I think that's the most story we've ever gotten out of her. Wow. <laughs> Without anybody you. cutting her off, at least. You, you guys, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Amen. Uh, Chris, last but not least. <laughs> Gotta save the best for last. Uh, I am Meniz, yeah. the Eric Cocker or Eric Coker cleric. Sorry. Um, yeah. What I do? <laughs> I'm gonna die today. I'm pretty sure of it. Um, Let's hope I'm very not. squish. Um, I I'm, heard Lucas was gonna die on the pole. <laughs> I heard I'm, that Lucas is gonna run away. <laughs> and I, I'm gonna run with him. I think. Uh, oh I am God. a you full-time can't. streamer. I paint minis on Twitch and I have an Etsy store and yeah, we'll see what happens. Folks, this is it. This is the last episode of the campaign. We may run long and eh, we may run short. <laughs> uh, we really aren't sure. Uh, just to get you up to speed, if this is the first time you've been watching it, whew, uh, 40 plus episodes two plus hours each episode it's been a long time coming these guys unleashed evil upon the world and uh it is up to them to get evil back into a magical box held by Maniz using a three-piece artifact that has been put together and is currently being held by Terran. these guys are currently engaged in a bitch throwing electrical bolts who has knocked Lucas into the river and knocked Maniz off kilter. If we are ready to go, the producer has something to say. Folks, it is darkness. The moons are about to hit their zenith. It's not going to be much longer before this is all over. That bitch on the bridge has thrown some <laughs> you guys, and she has walked <laughs> off the bridge. Headed for us, too. Everybody, roll initiative. Roll an initiative! Oh, that was as good as it used to be. Uh, Big old nine. <laughs> we're okay guys we're okay we're gonna make it 13 no. Lucas and uh, Dewey 22 <laughs> 1 do you need a 22 if you're just gonna pretend to float down right <laughs> I do not but at least I get to decide that first <laughs> 18. There you go. <laughs> uh, okay. As we pointed out earlier, Lucas was in the drink. Lucas, uh, you don't see shit from your position aside from your friends. So and I don't see the top of the bridge, but I can see a dark the stain. <laughs> you can see the bridge, but you cannot see that bitch who was throwing lightning bolts at you. Oh, okay. So I, I guess I should just uh, observe and report. 
Fair enough. Uh, Dewey, you are up next. Uh, this lady's about 200 or so feet away from you. 200 or so feet. Mm-hmm. It's hard uh, to judge in the darkness. There aren't any bodies on fire in this location. Well, yeah. that's nice. Whoa, 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 I can change that. I had my turn. I should have done that. <laughs> <laughs> and the river sets a light. <laughs> Yeah, I'm oh, sure I should have gotten out first. We're in Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dewey, what do you want to do? Um, uh, is there? Oh gosh, no. Uh, I'll I'll just hang out next to Taryn for a second. Fair enough. Uh, the lady in sorcery robes exits the bridge, looks down. Conjures a ball of fire and slings it down your way. Uh, Lucas, you are in the river. You're fine. Taryn, Meniz, and Dewey, look to your left building. Look to your right river. Everybody give me a saving throw, please. Meniz is within 20 feet of us? Yeah, he landed, remember? Yeah, he flew back to us. Oh, I didn't realize he landed. I thought he was still coming back. What saving throw? Charisma. Charisma. Okay. Ooh. Is this a fireball? It's a fireball. You want dexterity. There yeah. you go. Got to have dexterity. charisma. Oh, dexterity? Dex. Gotcha. That's dex. Yes. Uh, 20. Hold on. Half. 30. Big old 15. A uh, half. Uh, half of what? <laughs> a half six. of find out. <laughs> 16. Half. All three of you get half. Uh, you'll recognize the sound of this many dice. I mean, a yeah, charisma would have been nice. That is pretty no, shut shit. Dex. <laughs> Dex isn't bad for me either. I only just now got my charisma save out of the negatives. Don't tell me charisma save. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not. That's not bad. You guys are not going to die. Uh, no. Twelve twenty-two. Uh, and there goes the triple digits. Eight uh, and thirty-two. So half is sixteen. All three of you take sixteen. Nice. Lucas, uh, the roar of a fireball ignites the air, and you see it, boom, cascade into your friends. Uh, we now move to Taryn with the thirteen. You guys are both with. Uh, you guys are both within reach of me. Mm-hmm. Yes. You, you three are bundled. Well, then I'll have to. Oh, let's make sure I can do it. And I, I'm real tempted to cast invisibility on all three of us, and then try to move past her. <coughs> so you know what? I'm going to do it. Are you going to tell them? I take their hands. And <laughs> I have no. Uh, fine. To say I take their hands. I cast a spell. Take their hands. I'm like, we're going invisible. Poof. And then, uh, well, I got to probably, I don't know how you want to do this in terms of us moving, but we need to probably move together. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. You'll have to retreat or go towards her. I mean, we're invisible. (coughs) (coughs) Um, Do do we have to wait till Kyle's initiative? To do what? You can drag me along. I can drag on because he hasn't. It's because only we're half all your moving, speed at that point. It's we're all moving together. That's the thing. Moving forward or moving backwards? Mm. <coughs> I want to move forwards. I want to try to get over the bridge and fuck her. Mm. It's two hundred feet. Well, then, if worse comes to worse, we can hit the river. I mean, to uh, clarify: no. two hundred feet to the bridge or two hundred feet across the river? To the bridge. To the bridge, and, and then how, how far long? across the bridge? What's the range 50. to her? Okay. One eighty. Fireball has that kind of range. Mm-hmm. Fireball is one hundred and twenty, isn't it? Yeah. Of course, if she's a sorcerer, she could make it go farther. She it's a break spring rule. Oh, hey, 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 I'm like, <laughs> that's, it, it helps me figure out where I, I know. I am leaving the bridge unguarded for a very specific reason. So, do you want to try and drag people along, or yeah. no? Yes, I want to keep us together. Beneath, uh your feathers get ruffled as you feel a yank. Is there anything that you would like to do? Well, I did tell you guys you were going invisible. And 
Correct. We've done this. We've done this tactic before, so it's not like you don't. Now know. I, I have two options. I can heal myself, or I can heal us. It's it's Taryn, Lucas, and I. Am I correct? Correct. Or, no, 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 no. No, uh, Dewey. Not Lucas. Dewey. 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 Okay. Lucas is taking a bath. Um, because I can do preserve life and divvy out forty five HP between the three of us. That wouldn't be. That's and not a bad deal. And then cast as a bonus action shield of faith on myself. Do you have my to armor class. stop to do that? Which one? The first one. Uh, it says I channel divinity and present my holy symbol, so I could do that. <coughs> and invisible. That's it. Yeah, See if I click on to. it if it gives me more. I mean, I mean, See we all get it. You're giving hit points to or no? Line of sight. Which is invisible. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's no, what I'm asking. There, no, no, there's nothing uh, can restore to a creature to no more than half of its hit point max. I mean... 30 basic, feet within a view. Yeah, no, it doesn't even mention I have to see them. So ba the other thing I want to point out too is, yeah, I may move, but it's still only one move and they should still be able to get an action. And it's all weird because we're all going to move essentially together. Oh, I, I've got no problem up. with Maniz moving. That's that's not an issue. I just need to make sure that yeah. he doesn't need to see him. He right. No, no, that's him. no, it's fair. I just want to make sure that we actually are, have to like stop for, you know, basically I can only move so far anyways, and they should have enough time to do their actions. Well, I will do that so we can divvy out I'm not 45. Um, I, I need a lot of health, Kyle. Uh, you actually <laughs> can't heal me with your channel divinity. I'm above half. Oh, is it only half? No, no, I, no, no, no. I can't give you HP over half of what your max would be. So, like, let's say I'm you're... Over half that's, oh, no, then don't yeah, do he's that. He's over half. Heal yourself then, because you're right, I'm over half as well. So they can't restore a creature to no more than half of its hit point max. You are right. Okay, okay. so let's not waste that. I will go yeah, with yeah, option numero two and do heal yourself. Uh, I will do cure wounds at level two on myself. And then I will do my bonus action spiritual oh no, not spiritual weapon. Where is it? Shield of Faith. So now I have plus two, four, two spells duration, which is oh concentration. You're gonna tell them or <laughs> you, mm. one isn't a oh, yeah. You, you, can can only, can't you can only do one spell per round, and you're right at that too. Uh, so we'll just go with uh, the cure wounds, healing yourself. Twelve. Woohoo. You can do a bonus action cantrip though, right? Uh technically no. I, wait, no. I'm getting I'm thinking I got No, because spell is spell regardless if it's cantrip or not. But no, that'll that'll uh -huh. be just what I do. It's self touch, so it's fine. Manise, go ahead and roll just a straight up D twenty. Make sure it's not a one, please. Anybody else? When I lay on hands, yeah, I touch myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're fine. Uh, we move back to the top of the order. Lucas, uh, mm. your friends have just apparently been amaliated and turned to dust. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I guess. Your friends have fucking left you, dirty rat bastards. You also wow. know what we do. I don't feel like I could survive against something that could destroy three people in one shot. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is probably a good time to flee. <laughs> you want to flee under the bridge or back? I don't know. The other I way? don't have the box. I don't have the staff. Like, there's nothing, no way I can survive. You know, General Io wants you to join the army. I need to, I need to check on my uncle. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, I was so hoping you used invisibility. <laughs> was it? Wait, wait, for you know, weren't you the one complaining, Frank, about uh splitting up the party, Javin and Manson? Oh yeah, this, this is the is last your episode. Fault, I don't know. Frank, it's anymore. all your fault. 
He didn't cast invisibility. Uh, yeah, yeah but you know it. better. You know our tech. You could have yelled, Lucas, we're going invisible. No, that was Aaron, stupid. you should have known better. Uh, no, that would be really stupid. Over 40 episodes, and Taryn didn't see that coming. <laughs> oh, man, what should I do, though? This is really a decision. Um, S- you stay put for all of this. You can stay put. Why would I stay put? They're dead. Lucas, they're dead. Yeah, this is scary. <laughs> um, I... Jesus Christ! <laughs> And I, your screams draw the attention, and she turns to you. Shit, I wish I had thought about that, like, acting like we all just died. I would have well, screamed. I, I, I would have thought that you'd do oh, that. damn it. Oh, I, I would have freaking, yeah, I would have freaking gone for a bluff check to scream at like I was dying. Lucas, Shit. you're up. What do you want to do? Um. No, it's hard. Yeah, I am going to stay where I'm at to see if anyone was drawn to the commotion. <laughs> I don't want to try and flee if there's going to be a bunch of people approaching. Fair enough. Uh, Dewey, uh, give me a straight up D20, please. D20, straight up D20, 12. You are not pulled off your feet by Taryn's rough handling. What would you like to do? Uh, uh, I'm going to <coughs> split off. Um, I don't know exactly what the area looks like, but I want to get distance. A river walk. It's a very narrow area with a line of buildings on your left uh, and the river on the right. It's a run. funnel is where it is. Yeah, exactly. Uh, run towards the bridge uh, and with my last bit of movement, if I could jump into an alleyway to take cover in case she decides to launch nothing. There's no alley. Absolutely. It's all, all storefronts. Diddly. Yep. If you've ever been to San Antonio, you know what that fucking place looks like. There's you always the river. Yeah, I was There's gonna always say, the river. You as I'm always... running, if I look over into the river, uh, how bad does that look for me? There's a lot of bodies in there. You might be able to make the SS corpse. Like, <laughs> potentially run across... Oh. A bunch of bodies. No, we don't have not a monk. that many bodies. <laughs> okay, this is not Frogger. You are not going to do that. <laughs> Pitfall. Yeah, exactly. Snake dead. <laughs> and so it's a jump straight into water, or is there like a slanted canal I could attempt to run across? And the the embankments are brick. Uh, they are uneven brick. Uh, you can run sideways if you want uh you will either yank Taryn into the water and Manise along with her doing the bullwhip of everybody or you will have to let her go uh i will go ahead and let her go and i'm just gonna do a full out sprint towards the sorcerer yes yes uh pulling out you are not uh, 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 uh He's, he's going down like, in a blaze of glory. Were... <laughs> Shake it! <laughs> Fair There's enough. nothing else you to him. do. <laughs> Your yeah, get to where what? we need to go. Uh, Aaron, make sure you <laughs> slap him in the face first so he goes raging. <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, that brings us to the sorcerer. Son of a bitch! Uh, as she returns to her perch on the bridge, she sounds very manly. A wall of fire ignites on the edge of the bridge, and you see her storming back across. Uh, Lucas, give me perception at disadvantage. Oh, disadvantage. See us. Oh, this isn't for you guys. Uh, 16. Yeah, you can hear her clomping across the cobblestones of the bridge. Uh, that brings us to Taryn. So she basically cut off the bridge. Correct. Uh, or what I call plan B. Mm, man, I don't want to go into that. Oh, Manis, since he's already friggin' wandered off, so I have no idea where Dewey is. Can you fly me over? Over the, the fire? Br- over, over the just over the river to the other side. 
Yes, my knees. <laughs> Could you do that? <laughs> On your turn. It would get us around the wall of fire. Yeah, see, I don't think that's a good idea. I think it's a great idea. Are we invisible? Yes. Yes. Yes, yeah, she can't. let's do it. <laughs> she can't. No, 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 no. Find Lucas. He's still visible as far as I know. Hey, Lucas, I see you right there by the bridge, dude. <laughs> I'm not. Don't. Hey, now hang on a second. So your entire round is, hey, fly me up and over? Yeah. Okay. Manis, ball's in your court. Let's, let's Go look for Lucas. No, no, no. Don't know. Uh, no. Lucas, <laughs> hey, you don't know nothing. Lucas. Yeah, you don't know nothing. Just shush. You don't know shit. That you won't even <laughs> know when I drop in next to you. So Now, your wings flap audibly as you fly. Correct? I would assume they make some noise, yes. I'm I mean, not, not an a owl. Lot. That works. Top of <laughs> the go. order. Lucas, give me perception at All disadvantage. Right. FYI, I'm still uh, huddling trying to be stealthy among the dead bodies. Sure. All right. Uh, so that was a nat 20 and a 12. So 12 for perception. You think you heard something where your friends used to be, but you aren't 100% oh. positive. Okay. Give me a stealth roll since you're trying to bob in and out of yeah, the bodies. Yeah, stealth. What do I get? <clears throat> That's a uh, 17. Okay. As far as you know, you're quite stealthy. All right. Yeah. I, I can uh, hang out here and I'm just going to observe for now. Dewey. Uh, or you can run right through the wall of fire. I don't care. <laughs> Mr. 100 and whatever ridiculous amount of hit points you are. Come yeah, on, rage. take it, man. Take it. Is it faster to swim across or run through the fire? How long would it take me to swim? You? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can unequivocally state that uh, no heavy going armor through... and uh, fairly strong. You can, you know what? I'll say two rounds to swim directly across. Okay. While Second being shot thought. at. <laughs> Second thought. He's invisible, and she can't see us. Oh, splash. Are there lamp posts <laughs> on the side away. of the uh, bridge that I could Tarzan my ass over <laughs> that with a grappling amazing. hook and rope? No. Okay. Damn uh, it. Then through the fire in the because it, it's not a skyscraper, <laughs> you could lasso it, but then you jump off. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm just thinking, you know, la tie it off and then just run around, and hopefully, it gives me enough arc to get around the fire. You know what? Uh, pursuant to the way I always do things, d12 against me. No, don't use old red 11. I, uh. You know what? You think that's a pretty decent idea. You can probably do that. I feel probably. like this is a trap. <laughs> what? Gonna be like, give me an oh, acrobatics oh, check on, with like a, a DC second. 30. Consider the source of who it is that's saying it, yeah. You know <laughs> what? I, sh I should have just worn a mask the whole show. Your, your grappling hook is gonna make the loudest clang. Okay. Just so you know. Hold on. And it ain't gonna be invisible. Let me, let me it's on my person. Why wouldn't it be invisible? You're throwing it at something. <laughs> Just the section of rope you're holding is invisible. We are talking about <laughs> Dewey <laughs> is fairly intelligent and sure. fairly yeah. athletic. Is yes. this an uh, actual how's Kyle, thing? How's Kyle doing? <laughs> that? No, I'm just saying he's doing the math in his head as he's thinking about this idea. <laughs> Here, here are two problems. Okay. okay? I, I will give you your intelligence factor. Thank you. <laughs> One, if you continue to run headlong and try and do that, you're going to go right through the wall of flame. Still, either way. Your rope may not survive. <laughs> <laughs> if you go behind, you have no idea where your associates are at, and you may hit them. <laughs> I'll take it. 
folks, you can still watch that nine o'clock football game. Just give us a couple <laughs> more minutes. Are you I gambling, ma'am? Yeah. Swing for it. I love it, Kyle. I love it. You're going to swim. I'm going to swing. Swing. Oh, forward or backwards? I'm trying to cross to the other side of the river, so... I'm going to you'll have running. to make an you'll have to make an arc one way or the other. You can't go straight across because you'll go straight down, right, and then pull across. So, those are your options. I, so if I I'm all about it giving the, options. Is this firewall <clears throat> between me and the bridge, or is it on the bridge? It is at the base of the bridge, so you at cannot the get on the bridge. bridge without going through the fire. Okay, well. I mean, technically, at this point, I still have to run as I come up with my plan because I'm not even going to make the bridge yet. So this turn, I will continue to run towards the bridge. Okay. And pull out the grappling hook and get the rope ready to go. Well, you were dashing, right? What was I that speed? 140 feet, and you said it was 200 feet when I started? Correct. Okay. So next turn. Okay, fair enough. Uh, that brings it to me, Lucas. Give me a perception Damn check cool at disadvantage. Idea. A disadvantage still? All right. Nope. 15 plus 8. 23. Uh, where did I put that goddamn gem? Oh, gem of true seeing? I don't know. <laughs> that's what I'm assuming. Um, cool. That's good to know. I know what happened to it. Yeah. Taryn, you're up. Should, actually, you know what? I'm going to slowly make my way to the edge of the river. Okay. No fast movements. Just really <coughs> calmly and slowly, not to draw attention. Sure. I'm going to go not to the side where I came from, but the other side. Where so we're the side where they were on. Wait. Uh, the side we're on it? now or the side we were on? No, I want to go to the side where we're all heading. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, that should be easy because you were halfway over when Manise yeah. uh, lost your grip. Okay, Taryn, what are you doing? I'm going to sit there and uh, I'm going to hold tight. Um, I know Manise is here, Manise is here but uh, can we, uh, yeah, can I pick out Lucas? Uh, not from your vantage point. Okay, I'm going to sit tight anyways <laughs> until. Now, you, you already told him to fly you over. Yeah. Okay. Well, I assume Landis. I knew Lucas was headed this way. I said, find Lucas. Does he see him when he goes over? We don't know. We haven't gotten to him yet. Okay. I guess that's the thing. Well, you're you're just over. hanging on like Dewey always does. Yep. yep. Okay. Sure. Or however he wants to carry me. You I can see the edge way. of the bridge is completely illuminated. Yep. You cannot see Dewey. You can nope. see the lady and she's doing this. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Manise. Get you low. Are you are half, oh, great call. <laughs> get you down, are, get down, you are get halfway down. across, about the same location you were when you got shot the last time. Uh, do you want to continue? Well, and does Karen tell me to get down or no? I, I, I saw her with the gem. I'm assuming it's, yeah, it's a gem that you're seeing. I'm like, she could probably see us, so get, get, get to the other side in a hurry. To the water we go. Evasive maneuvers! Evasive maneuvers! Uh, give me an intelligence check, Manis. Oh, in with all those bodies. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> Four? Oh, uh, no. Taryn, he follows your advice, unfortunately. Dun, da, dun, 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 dun. He starts to leave a wake in the water as you are dragging your feet along. In the it middle. doesn't it doesn't matter if she's got a gem of true seeing and can see us, presumably. I, I'm just letting you know you're going to have wet boots. Oh, so what? <laughs> Lucas, there is something in the water and it appears to be headed right for you. It There's a fucking wake. <laughs> is the wake coming towards me? It sure is. <laughs> <laughs> this is horrible. Um, can we get to the? Can we get to land on that? Out of the water, you see Taryn's sister's head. <laughs> you. Uh, no, a crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> no, her head's been burned. So oh, yeah. it's halfway across. Good, Lucas. Shit. Um, 
I'm really interested in how Kyle's roles are going to be. <laughs> I'm thinking George in the jungle. <laughs> Watch out for that. Uh, <clears throat> got it. So I'm going to dive under the water to make clearance of the dead bodies, right? Because they're probably going to be floating up on top. And so Correct. I want to swim faster, which means underneath them. And I'm going to swim at a right <coughs> angle to the wake. You're gonna, so I'm, basically, I'm sorry, you're gonna what? I, I I'm gonna try and swim. I would think down the length of the river to okay. try and go at a right angle from the wake to get out of the way of whatever that creature is coming towards. So me. more towards the bridge? No, I'm gonna swim the other direction because I have a feeling that there's a magical ward or something on the bridge. Sure. Or I'm just fine. being cautious. Uh, give me a d20 roll. All right. Uh, is this athletics or something? Yeah, just a straight up roll. Okay, six. <laughs> uh, you can feel the dead bodies rubbing against your head. You're pretty sure it's the dead bodies and not dead body parts, but you really can't be sure at this point in time as you're Got trying it. to mark spits that shit. Uh, you succeed in going your movement upriver, uh, albeit poorly. Dewey! Come on, do it! All right, all right. As I'm thinking about it a little bit more, I'm going to run up, place the grappling hook, run back, and then start the run across. So as opposed to throwing a grappling hook and then running, I'm going to place the grappling hook where I want it, run back, and then give myself momentum. If that's okay, I, I'm trying to I'm trying to visualize this. What so if, you run up and you you put it on the <laughs> on the the lamp post, the unlit lamp post. Yeah. You run around back, the screaming guy's legs, and the, <laughs> the char. The char <laughs> that that's a terrible idea, Dewey. I'm gonna just put this in your pants. I'm not wearing any. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> So then you're going to run back, back. And, and then you're going to run and attempt to vault into the air. Yes. I, so you, you aren't throwing it across the river. That seems like a very long stretch to throw it across a river. Well, I'm just wondering if by attaching it to the post on this side, if you're going to get any lift at all. Yeah. I was I wondering that too. As close as I possibly can. I, and then I, run I, I, as I, hard as I can. Yeah, but I don't think you're going to get any lift. No. I think you're just going to be yanked back. I'm going to get I, yanked I think back. your only option is to cr- run. You know what? I'll, I'll throw. give you a corral on the far side, or I'll give you lassoing one of the posts on the bridge. That noise will definitely be heard by her. What are my best chances to get across? Far side. Okay, let's do that then. Hit it first. Uh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, what would you like me to add to that roll? Oh, no. Uh, dexterity. Dexterity. That's not bad either. Okay. Oh, good. Seven. Uh, 16 to hit a not moving object correct and not hit the thing causing the wake <laughs> oh. <laughs> just... all of a sudden my knees falls out of the sky no 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 water he'll be water skiing he'll be water skiing now Run to try an acrobatics but since you're running forward there is going to be a chance d12 that you vault yourself through the wall of fire. Okay. Wall of fire. Wall. Of you want to do the D12 first, or you want me to roll the acrobatics? We'll do the D12 first. Okay. Don't fail me this time. I'm just expecting him to clothesline someone else. Eleven. Two. <laughs> two. I don't know. Eleven. <laughs> You're going right through the fire like Christine. Well, shit. Uh, now, do you, now, now do your acrobatics. 
That's going to be a 30. Oh, nicely you. done. Uh, you swing and give your best Tarzan yell. I was going to say <laughs> Indiana However, Jones. Do, 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 do. Those are fucking oh, high rolls. Do I get a save? <laughs> Or does my nice 30 uh, acrobatics give me at least some benefit? Yeah! What, you save? what kind? Because you're kind of going to need it. <laughs> uh, dexterity for a wall of fire? Uh, let's go charisma, since it's her, her uh, wall of fire. You, you went right through it. <laughs> well, luckily for me, I improved my charisma saving throw, so from a negative three to a plus two. That's a 21 on the save. Yes! Uh, 38 hit points of damage. Oh. <laughs> Wait, that's half? Oh, half. I'm sorry. No. Uh, 19. 19. I'm sorry. Uh, 19. I am now in the double digits. Oh, that would have been uh, quite the fireball. <laughs> That's still twice as much as me, I'm sure. Uh, her turn. Action number two. The fuck is it? Um, big old wang across the cheek. Nice. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to do that one. I am in, in, instead going to require a saving throw from Manise and Terrence. What, what what kind of over. Yeah, which one? It's going to be color spray. Which what? Which save is that? I don't know. Charisma. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Oh, fuck you. God damn you, D&D Beyond. I hate you. That's a five. <laughs> Oh, but that's a oh, 17. Oh, plus three. I'm good. Rolls a two. Fuck off. <laughs> 17 on the die plus nine is uh, 26. Okay. Who has the least amount of hit points right now of the two of you? Oh, well, Aaron has 57. Mean. No, no. Right and, now? Yeah. No, which remember, I got hit. I got fireballed and I have not been healed. So I okay. think it's probably me. But I made the save. So uh, by a lot. I have 41 hit points right now. No, you've got more than me. Really? And I healed myself. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, it was How down to like 20 hell? something. 24. Holy jeez. Okay. So 8d10. 8d10. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm going to go get a refill. Uh, it was fun. I, no, no, it was no, a... I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're going to be blind. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's cold. <laughs> I think, yeah. Blind you. Ah, well. <laughs> That's All right, no I made tree to whack into and cause thirty six points of damage. Uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Face. Yes, I'm there already. You are I blind. Will, I'll, <laughs> gu I'll, I'll, gu I'll guide you in. Left, right, no, your other right, my left. That's <laughs> not. As, <laughs> truth be told, that's not as bad as I thought. I'll be like. All right, we're actually pretty low now as it is, I believe. Oh yeah, yeah, my you're actually water. up to your knees in the hey, water. My uh, Maniz, you have a uh, lesser restoration, don't you? Uh, let me check. Let me check. I think I do. Taryn, yes, I do. you're halfway into the water and there's a whole bunch of bodies here. Go ahead and give me, do you want <laughs> dex to miss them or strength to hang on as you club them? Uh, dex. Oh, there's no doubt. Okay. Dex uh, to run across them. <laughs> same roll. 17 plus 7 is 24. Uh, you do manage to step on dead bodies, uh, like um, your great I'm, aunt Gertrude. I'm not thinking about it. I'm not thinking about it. I'm not looking. Stepped right okay, in the crotch the... of one guy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know that. I'm only looking ahead. Yeah, I have to look, I guess, to or, or to avoid him. There is a These small, are your friends and family, right? There is a small fence on the other side, and you are destined to cheese grater it. Uh, all, right. all you can hear is my eyes, my eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna say, Manis, get it out. Manis, go up slightly. Get up. You're too low. You're too low, Coog. You're too low, Coog. Manis, you and hear, go up slightly, is what she said. How I mean, is it my turn? Right. How high is that fence? Okay, well, since 
since it's my turn, I will cast Lesser Restoration on myself. Oh, okay. Therefore, unblinding and lifting back. Oh, then you can see. Cool. Wisdom check. Please. For me? Yep. How fast Wisdom are you check. flying? Just one more. Oh, oh, come on. These shit rolls, man. Nine. <laughs> Karen, plus six. Plus you're six. You're going to make it over that wall. <laughs> Won't. <laughs> you you take nine hit points of damage as you collide with the wall. Uh, do you want strength to hang on or dexterity to land gracefully? Uh, I'll def- as I said, definitely uh, dexterity. Oh, come okay, on. give it a shot. Come on. Um, quick ding, question. Ding. Question. Sure. This is not good. How loud is it? And another question: Does that dispel invisibility if no. you get take damage? Uh, I have to roll. Yeah, concentration check. Oh, yeah, that's right. I get a roll. Beat a 10. Nobody like friggin'. Uh, I beat a 10. That was a 15. All right. Still invisible, just loud, jangling noise from the fence. And. Although, to be fair, there's also a smoking invisible thing now (laughs) with feathers falling. (laughs) 20 dexterity. Uh, you do come to a landing in a small grassy knoll area. You see the dead body of a former president. Uh, <laughs> You're bad. Uh, you blink twice and you can now see, but you, no one is gripping your leg. So you're going to go a few feet higher than that. Uh, as you look to your left, you see just this on fire rope with Smoke coming <laughs> off the clothing of Dewey Docamel as he whizzes over the sorceress's head, <laughs> and you can hear her swear loudly. Well, he's a, so we Lucas. just see we just see the smoke because he's still invisible. He's still invisible, but his shit's on fire. <laughs> so he's leaving chemtrails. Lucas, awesome. uh, as you bob up in between some dead body's legs, you look. <sighs> You look the other way, you also see the chemtrails <laughs> flying over the sorcerer, and she's shooting electricity at him, <coughs> but missing. Huh. Well, now that she is distracted, um, can I get to the side of the river? <clears throat> oh, yeah. It, it's at an incline, and then there's a decorative fence, except one part of that fence is now dented. Nice. Um, I try and stealthily climb out. Splash! Uh, give me a stealth roll. All right. Stealth, that's 13. I better roll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're, you stealth up. She's too busy worrying about Dewey. Dewey, in your wake, uh, as you heroically fly over, uh, choof, choof, choof. She is shooting lightning bolts from her staff at you, but missing. Keep in mind that she goes next. That was her reaction. Uh, Do I land yet? Give me your dex check to see how gracefully you land. But first, d12 against me to see if you land squarely on Terran. Can't see me, so. Yeah, but I would see. But I can see him to avoid him. Yep, you sure can. I'm going to avoid him. Eight. Ten. You do not land upon her. And that is a 22 dexterity check to land. You land and go, did you see that shit? (laughs) Yes, Dewey. Yes, Dewey, I did. And I I said, if if I can do it, I'll, I'll, I'll hug him basically to put out the fire. Let's see if I spot Lucas on my turn. I do not spot Lucas. So one to two, three to four, five to six. Six. Manise. Um, are you visible? Nope. From being blinded? It's my spell. Yeah, it's her spell. It's, it's her not spell. There with him. You okay. have to screw her He's over. He's in. Out yeah, you. Basically, I had to roll below a 10 on the concentration check, and we'd all be visible. But didn't he cast yes. a spell, Lesser Restoration? And it's, it's my spell. It's her spell that protects him. You know what? Not I'm going his. I'm going to shoot. Well, oh, no, I'm sorry. That's, does that work? <laughs> Where's me? I had my jump of scene. I know where all three of you fuckers are. I was going to say, wait. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm confused. Like, the, so this spell I'm doesn't pretty even sure, matter now. 
I'm pretty sure Maniz isn't invisible anymore because the invisibility says a creature you touch becomes invisible until the spell ends. Anything the target is wearing or carrying is invisible as long as it's on that target's person. The spell ends for a target that attacks or casts a spell. Oh, all right. There you then go. you're visible. Uh, but you had to. I don't think I'm in range. Hardy har har har. I think we're gonna of 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 that spell. <laughs> yeah, I think you're past thirty feet, so I don't think I can use that spell on you. I don't really want to do a fireball again. Fireball. Do 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 do. Yeah, I did not anticipate that one, so I'm going to go. She should just give up. Oh, yeah. She, you, you have hit her for She's exactly surrendered. zero hit points. <laughs> and she has got a shitload. Uh It's very, there, very there, cold in here. Can we make a decision? Are, there are four of her. Oh, and she is running across the bridge towards Kyle, Taryn, and Manise. Taryn, you're up. Where the fuck is Lucas? <clears throat> Do we see Lucas? No idea. Nope. Not yet. <clears throat> he's dead. Maybe he's the traitor. Oh, yeah, that won't be a surprise. I could see that, yeah. No, that yeah. no, totally makes sense. I've been questioning that the whole But why do time. we need to have a traitor? We don't. I'm sure I, there's no traitor in the midst. I think it's Perpetua. Perpetua's a traitor. Maybe the sorcerer is Perpetua. What are we doing, Taryn? It's the fuck out of me. Kyle's getting I cold. I want to get the fuck out of here, but we don't have a Lucas. Um, you don't need me. Maybe you could uh, use sending or something. I I'm I'm I gotta keep a few spells in the tank. Jesus, I'm I am starting to run out. Nah. But said it in theory, I probably won't have any when we get to. Probably won't be casting anything when we get. We're not to alive. The... It doesn't matter. Are there buildings around here which we could take cover behind or? About a half a block away. This this area is all grass. It's a park. And actually, all four of you roll perception. Ah, no, you, none of you are available to do this. Go ahead. So you're in a small riverside park. Uh, I think for starters, it since there's really no point, I know she can see us. So uh, I'm dropping invisibility so Lucas can find us. Um, huh? I think that's all right. Otherwise, I don't. I, I want to freaking book it, but we don't have Lucas. Actually, no, I'm going to add, we all got a healing potion, right? Mm -hmm. Extra, Extra how healing. many D, whatever, eight? 2D, eight plus four. One. That's what I'm going to do. That would make sense. Where's my other D8? That's probably a very yeah, good Yeah, considering idea. I took a, a bunch of damage already. I drop invisibility and I stand there in the open grass chugging a potion. <laughs> she already can see us, so there's no point of keeping it up. Oh wow! I, did I really just roll? I rolled. I rolled max. So it's the two d eight plus. Is there a plus? Plus what? Two. Frank. Four. 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 Okay, four. Sorry. I'm, I'm reading 15, on the next spell for you guys. Twenty. Are you reading it, Frank? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Because okay. I, I I've never heard of this one before oh, today. What's this one. Uh, you can tell uh, us it, when you cast it. How about that? Oh, that okay. works. Uh. Power word kill or something? I don't know. <laughs> it's not that good. Uh, Maniz, uh, you are up in the ground. Uh, invisibility is clearly dropped. Point. You look down below. You will see Lucas. Seal Team 6 in his way up the <laughs> riverbank, not too far away from Taryn and Dewey. What would you like to do? Uh, you also see four of those bitches on the bridge now. <clears throat> Is there like any trees or anything near where Lucas is? No, he is on the incline. There are, it's a park setting here on the other side with Taryn and Dewey. Hmm. <clears throat> I 
I will go towards where Lucas is, but like a little, like <laughs> on top of the bank. Sure, that works. Top of the order, Lucas. Uh, you scamper up the side. You see Manise land right at the fence. Uh, you hear a tumult of everything as you look over your left shoulder. You see that there are four of those wizards now uh, right there preparing, <coughs> preparing to cast a spell. Uh, they haven't spotted me yet, right? Correct. Of course, they'll get a chance when it's their turn. And there's only just like open grassy area mm -hmm. in front on the other side of this fence. Yep. How tall is the fence? About four and a half feet. Oh, so. Easy to leap over. Yeah. Cool. So. OSHA when... regulations, uh, too many drowning kids. Got it. I, at the uh, building line, that's half a block away. Is there alleys or is it solid wall? There are alleys. There are, are alleys. This uh, this side of the river, eh, kind of sketchy. Okay. Um, I assume Maniz has eyes on me, so I'm just going to keep my head down and, and book it for those alleys. <laughs> okay. Dewey, you see her. She's casting something. I run towards her to attack. Nicely done. Uh. And there's four of her. Okay. So, um... All reckless. I'm not raging. Uh, so the first one is going to be a... I should probably have that character sheet up, otherwise it's less useful. Uh, that's going to be an 18 to hit. Oh yeah, that hits her. And it will hit a duplicate. Um, There's three of her. Second attack will also hit, and I need to roll an uh, six or higher. That's a 19. That's another duplicate down. Uh, bonus action, reckless attack. That'll also hit, and I need to roll a... Oh, you know what? Six... Oh, okay. Okay. And that one will actually hit the original. So you still have at least one duplicate. How much did you get me for? That one is the worst one. One uh, piercing damage. <laughs> You're so fucked. Uh... She is startled at your rapid appearance, uh, and she casts what is called Storm Sphere. Oh, that one. Yeah, that's a fun one. Yeah. Uh, so, since you are more familiar with it than I am, uh, I will defer to your knowledge. Uh, but she casts a spell centered on you, or um, just, be just behind you, so that she is unaffected. Uh, so. Okay. First, you need a strength saving throw, which shouldn't be too difficult for you. Yeah, correct. And actually, that would be uh, the all three of us. Are we that close? Twenty foot radius, <clears throat> so uh, it would forty be, foot diameter. It, it would hit that. It would be you and Taryn and Maniz. Lucas yeah. hightailed it. So all three of you need a strength saving throw, please. Yeah, this is my bad one. So I'm out of the range of danger is what I hear. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm going to, no, I'm going to take that. That's a six. Manise, strength save. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Four. Wow. Manise is dead. You take eight hit points. Uh, Kyle, points. I assume, or Dewey, I assume, yeah, eight damage. 18. Uh, so you take four. Uh, this uh, is not a um, half damage. Oh, my, it's my either apologies. Save or fail. Save or suck. I see mm -hmm. that now. Uh, the bonus action I will use yep. is cause the bolt of lightning, and it's going to be at you because she's scared shitless of you. So and I have you to... have <laughs> advantage because I am in the sphere itself. She could have let us go. 19 and 9 
Uh, <laughs> yes, that'll hit. That's gonna get you. Uh, four mm-hmm. d six lightning. Yep, I'm getting all of that. <laughs> You're welcome. Your raging will freaking save you there. Hey, at least I'm not did, raging. At least you did one. Oh, yeah. I don't have resistance to lightning. Uh, well, that's true. Uh, nine plus four, 13 damage is all. Whew. Uh, Taryn, uh, you are getting buffeted by this sphere of storm. Uh, you spot Lucas running away. You spot Dewey running towards, uh, and Manise is behind you, so you will not see him. What you want to do when they come for you? <clears throat> oh, you know what? What? I was supposed to add a d6 to that damage I did to you. Sure, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, six. So seven total? Seven total. Thank yeah, you. You, you, you need that. <laughs> I really did. <laughs> yeah. Taryn, what you doing? God, I freaking ran up there. Oh, um. God, I'm gonna be an idiot. I'm gonna draw probably the I'm gonna draw the thing that I have the best chance of hitting with. I'm within 35 feet of her, right? Yep. But if you're using missile weapons, nope. Okay. Nope. Uh, I know I, that storm is a problem, so I'm gonna draw my plus two rapier and go up and try to hit her. Sure, go ahead. Enter that sphere, baby. I'm She's already, already in, it. in the sphere. And yeah. how far away is she? Uh, she's about 30 feet. Then it's I can move. Difficult terrain. Oh, is it? Yep. Mm. So you'll what? Get right to her this round? Because that lowers your movement speed. Yep. I have 35 move. Well, I'm wondering if actually I can, because she centered it so that she's not in it. So that means I should be able to get to her and not be in it as well with 70 feet of move, so 35 feet. Difficult terrain, though. 30, it's 30. I, I will double move. I so will da- if you're 30 feet, dash action, you take move. 10 feet of non difficult terrain to get oh, to the center. So it's even. And then 20 feet after that is to her. And all of it's difficult terrain. You could run out of the sphere directly away from it. And that would cost. Wait, wait, wait. You, wait. you said I have, I'm 35. I'm 30 feet away from her, right? 35 feet away. Forty foot diameter. But she's five feet away from getting out. Yeah, but she's not in it. (laughs) Correct. If she's thirty five feet away and I take two actions to move, that should put me right at her. If it weren't difficult terrain. That I'm taking two actions. Seventy divided by half is thirty five. Yes, if you do that, you would be out of it. Yes. That's what I'm doing, because I can't do anything else this round. Okay, so you are right up on her. Yes. Manise. Which is a friggin' stupid thing to do. Taryn and Dewey have charged ahead. Lucas has opted to get the fuck out of Dodge. Character development. Your choice. (laughs) How far am I from... I can see this person, yes? Mm -hmm. How far am I? You are five feet away from getting out. You are 35 feet away (coughs) from her, but it is difficult terrain because of the swirling winds. And if I go out, I would assume out towards where Lucas is. Yes, and out of damage. I'm sure that that was your assumption. (laughs) I will step the 10 feet back. You get out of the storm top of the order lucas as you turn around you notice that uh hey dumb shits you needed to run this way not that way your two of your associates are engaged uh and Maniz is stepping out oh, hello <laughs> yeah i'm just wondering why they're not all fleeing i i figured that would be the best course of action but i guess not um well you left uh, two of them behind. <laughs> Manise is following me, though, right? Manise has just stepped out. He hasn't Manise made the determination one of the way, either way. But Taryn and Dewey are engaged. Okay, and I'm out of spell range, right? You're probably 100. Oh, so I need to move a little bit farther away to watch. Um, 
Yeah, I want to get at least 120 feet away before sure. I stop and watch and hunker down. Sure, that works. You look left, you look right. The streets are empty. There is nobody on fire. However, give me a perception check. Ooh. 14. There is a glow atop a small hill. A glow atop a small hill. Mm -hmm. Is that the general direction we were heading? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I wonder if that's where we need to go with Taryn and my knees. Um, (laughs) I guess I'll never find out. I'm going to uh, make sure I'm 120 feet away and then, (laughs) you know, crouch down and, and watch. Fair enough. Dewey, uh, you are engaged with this bitch and her uh, friend. <laughs> <laughs> I will move out of the sphere. I will rage as my bonus action. And then for the first attack, I'm going to uh, trip her prone. So I need that athletics or acrobatics check. Ooh. Oh, what'd you roll? Five. <laughs> <laughs> that is not going to work. Nice. Very good. Uh, so as prone, I will then stab down. Not recklessly, but still at advantage because I'm awesome like that. Um, her, 19. Or her or her twin. Oh, shit. Yeah, she's still got one up. Hold on. Yep. Let's see who I attempted to trip. I actually did trip her. Yes. Okay. And <coughs> I guess they imitate each other is the issue. Mm-hmm. And that will also hit her with it. I rolled a natural one and a natural two, and I have to roll under 11, I believe. Okay. <laughs> How much damage? Uh, this is radiant and all the other fun damages mixed together. She needs to make a roll on something else. Concentration. Yes. Uh, so that is... Uh, shoot, I'm sorry. I keep getting these out of order. My rage damage is still plus two, I believe. Um, so that's 10. Another 10. 23 damage total. Um, there's radiant and that matters. In that. Okay. Yeah, I, I did not cast the spell that would uh, eliminate the energy. Uh, my turn. Uh, you made the concentration check. I did not make the concentration check as the sphere shatters and Whoa. goes weak. I also lost control of my staff of electricity, and it is in the drink. Uh, what about? Oh, actually, would the, the image would go away too, wouldn't it? The mirror at the last mm. image, he didn't kill it. So, do I? Uh, or is that concentration? Actually, I don't have the period. I'll right. re roll concentration. Uh, 17. So, okay. it is not concentration. Okay, so yeah, it's there till it's dead. All right, we can uh, that. I'm gonna do burning hands because you two fuckers are right on top of me. So, what is that? Dewey, burning hands is a dexterity saving throw okay. for us. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. Yep. I'm looking at the wrong one. Nope. I'm pretty sure I make that on a 23. 12. Uh, 12 is <laughs> not going to do it. How much damage does the burning hands do? 3d6? Uh, I believe so at first level. <laughs> uh, I would upcast yes. it, so I'll take a 4. I'll take 4d6. Okay. And it's, it's half, right? I assume. Oh, shit. Nine. (laughs) So four. That was a piss roll right there. Uh, Taryn, I am proned on the ground and just burnt your eyebrows off. My electrical stick has fallen off the bridge and into the water. You didn't really think I was going to give that to you. No. No. I don't I, really. I'm don't, popping popcorn. <laughs> uh, you know, I was like thinking I should I should just go for my rapier, but what about this handy dandy 
staff or whatever rod staff thing. Oh, you want to use the artifact on her? <sighs> Do you want no. to say the words? No, 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 no. Say no. the word. <laughs> oh no, we can't. No, 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 no. Um, no, I'll just use my sword. Okay. I roll at advantage, I believe. Correct. You should have used the staff. Oh. You, you do have to set the staff down, but yes, you will attack at advantage. Okay. Well, I'm just holding it like this and stabbing with the other hand. I won't give you advantage for that because the artifact is heavy. All right, fine. I'll set it down and put there my foot you go. on it. I put a foot on it. She's going to break it. <laughs> Uh oh, that's an oh, that's very good. That's a nineteen on the die plus nine, so it's twenty-eight. E easily. All right. So. She's real easy to hit. Yeah, I only get Roll one at flat D twenty. Because there's all right. She still got the fucking image. Well, that's right. Maybe I'll pop it. Oh, under a ten. Under an eleven. I rolled under an eleven. I rolled five. You hit her. Hit her. Come on. Good damage. Kill her. We don't have to worry about the duplicate. Yeah, I know. Uh, 10 points of damage. Wait, let me check that. Uh, nope, 11 points of damage. These, uh, <laughs> the sphere has dropped. You have clear vision. Uh, you can now spot Lucas, maybe. Uh, Lucas, roll a d20. Manise, roll a d20. Two. 16. You see Lucas, you see Kyle and Taryn uh, hovering over the pain in the ass mages. Fine, I will change my chat name. Gosh. <laughs> do it, Dacamil. Um, I don't even know if I'm Do I see right. that glow that Lucas can see? Percep er, perception. Perception. <coughs> uh, the dirty 20. Yeah, you see the glow. Would I know that I should probably go investigate said glow with said artifacts? No, I would know nothing about that. Okay. Wisdom. I am wise. Wisdom check, I assume. I, I, I'm just more worried that maybe you shouldn't go by yourself. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you are wise, though. I'll leave that he up to you. He's a mighty, <laughs> mighty cleric. Uh, so that'll be a dirty 20. You the, the box does you no good without the staff. Yeah. Okay. So I will cast Guiding Bolt. Yeah. Although sure. we already that'll, have advantage, but it's a great spell. But that'll be What's the uh, range on that? Feet. You would have disadvantage <laughs> sure, on because she is prone. Oh, that's true. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because she's at their feet. Uh, so 16 to hit. That hits. And? 15 is all you need to hit this bitch. Oof, big, big old. Who has blue scales. Big old six damage. 47. And, Lucas, uh, three of your associates. Person to, uh, wait, wait, yeah, wait. we already have advantage. <laughs> ah, yeah. Because she's so prone. Person on the next turn has well, do Dewey does, unless. Well, I mean, she if she gets, gets up, up she's too. still at that. The next person has advantage regardless. Yeah. So if Lucas yeah, wants true. to attack her, he would get advantage. That's which right. Would he would. negate his disadvantage. Dewey, sorry, you're, or, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry Lucas, you're up. <laughs> So, uh,. I guess I will look out for other enemies approaching. Give me a sensory perception, wisdom check. All right, 13. Smells like burning paper, but you aren't really sure. Dewey, you're up. Oh, they're burning the library down. Uh, I will attack three times, all at advantage. Yes, I am unmuted. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah, you bird, you're great. I got a one and a 15. Taryn <laughs> is going to be the one that you hit. <laughs> oh, no, that's, oh, no. To, that's to hit. 15. Uh, gotcha. 15 is to hit. Natural gotcha. 20 on the second one. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. And 12 on the die, but a 20 in total on that last one. So yeah. I think all three hit. Middle one is that. And so the first one is. 
Uh, 11 bludgeoning. The other one here. Let's add another one there. And. Oh, no, that's it. Uh, shit. Five, six. I should have done this later. 15, 21 on the crit, and uh, <coughs> four on the last one. So close. I know, right? I'm going to look up a barbarian just to make sure that I didn't actually miss damage. But go on. Go on. Aaron and Dewey, color spray. What is that? Save. Which one? Charisma. Charisma. I rolled that die. Uh, 18. Okay. 18. Uh, 14. Uh, she makes it you do not. Mm -hmm. But who has the lesser amount of hit points? Uh, she does. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think I still might be over her max at my current. What, what do you got right now, Dewey? 75. I mean, that doesn't make a lot of sense. I make the same. No effect. Yeah. To be fair, it's not a save spell. It's a just roll a bunch of dice and whoever oh. has the most. Oh, oh okay. so then, hang, I, hang on. I stand then I shouldn't corrected. be even. Yeah, we shouldn't even be saving. Let yeah. me see. Yeah. It's the can we you fuck over Terran spell. It really uh, I might be able to. Yeah. Give me the total. Probably. 31. Second. You do not. I have 40 hit points. There you go. You are not blinded. Mm. I figured she was going to get it. I figured after what happened to me, the knees, I would get it. Go ahead, Taryn. She's still proned out. Oh, my God. It would be lovely if I could finish this. Natural 20. You could do it. Or Let's roll two that. ones, whatever. Don't say things like that. Uh, that's well, that is that's going to be a hit because that's more than a 15. That is, did uh, you hit her? Oh, yeah. Well, that's a, all right. That's oh. a yeah, no, I have, I have to make Hold sure on. I hit it all. That's a 19. Let me no, I'll roll hit. Oh, you got to the that. crit damage that I did earlier of 21 missed, but oh, sh the duplicate is destroyed. All right, then I hit her. I wish you, yeah, but your 21 would have been better, man. I I'm understand just, that. I'm rolling <laughs> D8 plus four. Uh, D8 plus five. Sorry. Uh, that's. Well, you can make up 21 hit points of damage. No, I, I believe can't. in you. Yeah, that's a nine. The most I can run is 12. I, I have faith in, faith in you, Taryn. We believe in you. Please, <laughs> you're up. If you can kill her, our friendship is assured. But if you can't. I'm trying. No, I'm never letting you talk again. I'm interrupting you every chance I get. Oh, no, I do that all the time. Continue. I shanked her. I will. Let me just check a spell. Aaron, roll a d20 Not for myself. me, please. Me roll a d20? Yeah, let's make sure you didn't kick your staff off into the river. Uh, well, if it's like going to be a one, it's a 13. Okay. It's not a one. What are you doing, Maniz? <laughs> I I'm will. stepping on it anyways. Yeah. I, I will go with... Oh, wait. No, probably not a good idea. Um, hmm. I will go with Sacred Flame, which is a Dex 14 save. I'm prone, so I assume I'm at disadvantage. I think so. I don't know how that works for spells. I'm pretty sure that is exactly how it works for spells. A six and a <laughs> one. All right. So that is eight radiant damage. Big Red's letting me down. And... Yeah, that's it. We're going to finish it, man. This is going way too long. Lucas! <laughs> ran away. Your friends are so all I don't engaged. See any other enemies approaching? No, it's beginning oh, to snow. Beautiful. I'm doing my job, though. I'm going to keep watching. Dewey, you're what? up. There's only Finisher. one wizard. 
Three ticks. Uh, 17 on the die. Natural 20 on the second one. And, uh, wow, I think one of them might have actually, yeah, I missed with the last one. You were so overcome by your natural 20 prowess that it probably won't matter, or will it? Oh, I dropped the die again. Uh, that's a couple of ones on a D6. <laughs> She ain't going to go God down. Um, so let's see here. That is... We're going four hours, folks. Six, ten, fourteen, sixteen, plus twelve. So, so twenty-eight. 28. Just barely, <laughs> didn't I? Two hip She's got, a, she's got a few. I was going to say two or one. Uh, burning hands Dexterity on YouTube. Dexterity saving throws. That's a one and a nine, so a 12. That was not good. That's going to fail, I'm sure, because that's a 11. That fails. Murder hobo, murder hobo, five and three. 12, 17. 20 hit points of really damage not good. as she ignites. Oh, not 200. Aaron, put her out of her misery. Oh, God, please put her out of her misery. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Still at uh, advantage. Where's my other die? Oh. Come on. All right. That is head. Yeah, those are both, both, both would have hit because the lowest roll was a 15 on the die. So eight. Come on. Uh, another nine points. The sorceress is dead. I kill steel. <laughs> Man, do you think that would have been easier if we had more help or had just done that at the very beginning? Because I don't know, she's a sorceress and not a tank. Well you know, I was kind of hoping to save a few freaking resources. Yeah. She had triple digit hit points, baby. Yeah, I thought you guys were all going to flee. I thought we were all on the same page because you guys were invisible. So I thought, oh, obviously they're trying to avoid detection. Hey, hey, we're doing Lucas, this. Lucas comes next over and goes, Tuesday. hey, Let's go. guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she is dead. That should get on her. Anything good? She has a gem of seeing. Oh, and there's also uh, a lightning staff. That's, That's in, in the, the river. Drink, fell in the river. Yeah, we can I find it. I picked up mine, by the way. Yeah, we, we can go ahead and take time to search the river. I mean, the no. moons. I'll, I'll cast detect magic and I'll uh, I'll go swimming again. <laughs> <laughs> that would that would not take long. Do we? Uh, oh, totally worth it. Let's let's spend the next two hours trying to find this stuff. No, 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 no. What That's if you... electrocuted the water. <laughs> no. What if you? What if that works? What if I, you actually? I, re- I was throwing that out there as a joke. I really don't care. Hey, my let's, knees, all right, I'm down let's go. eighty hit points. Could I get some healing, please? I could yes. use them too. Hey, hey, remember that whole thing about you doing like a group of people that are under half? Now yeah. it's worth it. All right, let's do. Uh, let's do that. We'll do fifteen HP each to. Uh, 15, myself, 15, Dewey, 15, Taryn. And it brings it up to half? No, no. 15 hit points. Okay. Oh, all right. It's 45 divvied among us. All right. I only actually need 12 of those. So if someone needs three to get somewhere else a little bit higher. I can use the extra three. It's not going to hurt. Okay. But then I'm still down 67 hit points. I have a potion of extra healing. I will drink that too now that you mention it. What's 57 divided by 2? 20. 57 and a half. 23 23 and a half. No, 28 and a half. You're right. Yeah. So technically, I'm at, well, I'd be at 29 hit points, right? can only go up to half your hit points. Right, so that'd be 29 hit points. Lucas, are you going to tell them what you've seen? Uh, Yeah, now that things have calmed down, I'll let everyone know, hey, there's this glowing thing up on the hill. I think that's where we're supposed to go. 
Karen, that's Knowledge Hill, home of the library. And that's where the staff is leading, right? Yep. Oh, Dewey, the library is on fire. Son I would still bitch. like some healing, but let's run. <laughs> I'm still down 50 hit points. Good, you should be. Okay, uh, you guys are hauling ass to the uh, <coughs> library? Sure. Yes. Maniz, are you flying or running? Before we go, I will cast Cure Wounds on Dewey at level two. Thank you. And Dewey gets... I'm going to cast one on me. <laughs> Seven hit points. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, good roll. I'm going to cast a first level one of those on myself. And, and I will then proceed to follow Okay. Yeah, Sorry. I don't need first level spells. I'll cast carry ones on myself as well. <laughs> you guys begin to run down the street, up the incline, smoke billows from the library atop Knowledge Hill. You race up the marble stairs and spot no adversaries in the area. Would you like to make your way inside the structure? Uh, how long has it been, by the way? Since, oh God. When well, the hell we they... ended and we had two hours left. However, right. the long the fight was, was about a minute. But how long does it take us to run to the library? About 20 minutes. Also, don't forget time to heal. I'm going to say, to... I'm going to say so my, dis talk. my disguise must have dropped by now. Oh, yes. So that's fine. Otherwise, I would drop I think it the disguise own. is left on that fence back there. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. So, are we going in? <coughs> Does yeah. the staff lead us in? Does it? The staff is sending you at an angle straight through. So, yes. Yeah. I believe it is. Yeah. On the other side of the library is where we need to go. <laughs> yeah, let's right. run through the run around. Building. The burning building is a shortcut. Let's it go is through that. The library's on. Wait, the library's on fire or building near it's on fire? The library. You're going in, right? Yeah. No. Making your way inside the structure, no. a gruesome image greets Get you. Get your friggin' ass in here, Lucas. The central area where the librarians once took account of books is surrounded <laughs> by headless acolytes encircling the area. Hanging from a chain suspended by the rafters is the twitching body of a tiefling. The metal slowly spins, revealing the victim known to Dewey Dockamel as Samuel Witt. Oh, oh, already lost no. the first one. Blood trickles down from the flayed chest and the eyes begin to dim. Spotting Dewey, he weakly chuckles and blood spurts from his mouth. You knew you would be responsible for my death, but I have taken that away from you as well. The eyelids fall and a small crystal vial is released from his grip of his lifeless hand and shatters on the floor below. This place is on fire. The Can I run and catch that or no? Nope. Ah, shit. Okay. Where's I? It was an empty vial anyway. Oh, okay. Oh, thank God. I thought it was like an explosive. Everybody investigate roll. Okay. What, do I see something from outside? Get your ass in here. I'm a coward. 22. Right. I uh, rolled a one. Uh, 17. 19. Hey, guys, the building's on fire. Beniz <laughs> uh, is worried about the rooftop falling in while Taryn, Lucas, and Dewey spot a map of the city. What does the map show? Yeah, and by the way, now that he's dead, where's the staff directing me? Straight like through. through the wall? Through the other exit. Taryn, you take one look at the map, and there is something wrong with it. What's wrong with it? And I'm telling them the same info. You clearly point out where your family residence is, but then you show them across the way before you left Fulton, the slum area is apparently a palatial estate 
on this release. I didn't tell you guys that. I'm not sure what a palatial estate. Somebody cleared out the slums and built a palace. Somebody cleared out the slums and built a palace right on the river. Oh, that's nice. So, my I got a probably. view of the bodies. Is that the way, same way that my staff is leading me? That is the same way the staff is I leading get you. Maniz's attention and point at the map as well and be like, do you recall seeing a palatial estate from up in the air? Did oh, I see it? Is... No, I did not see it. His role from the previous session failed. All right, well, we better get there. Uh, is Samuel Witt still wearing any of his uh, holy gear or anything from the actual library? Or is he full strip naked in his sick bitches? That's right. With great big gashes across his chest. It almost looks like something has clawed through him. But you notice his lips are turning a strange color. Do we? Do I any need... of us know what that means? I'll take medicine checks from all of you. Medicine check. Have that? Could That'll I use a 18. nature check instead? I nope. don't know shit. That's only ten. Eight. Manise. Eighteen. Lucas. Uh. <laughs> So what, what, what check is this? Medicine. Uh, medicine. Medicine. Got it. 19. Huh. Uh, yes. Uh, you and Manis yell out poison. Uh, just as Samuel Witt's body <laughs> is caught aflame. He Get out. fireballs? He is a tiefling. Does he catch fire that easily? He's dead, tiefling. He catches fire that easily. Okay. It stinks, too. Oh, oh, okay. We leave. Yeah, we should probably get out of here. The um, staff is humming straight out. There, there are four entrances inside this building. It's a very palatial building. Uh, but it seems to be pointed towards that palatial estate along the river. All right. Well, that's where we're going to go. Across the river again or on our side of the river? Your side of the river. Thank you. God if that. you look at the map that you guys have and find Taryn's house, which is one of the highest uh, discolored markings, straight across the river from there, kind of like how the story began, for those who could hear it. There was something at the beginning? I, I missed it. I was asleep. I've yeah, been recording sure. it, so I'll be fine. Oh, okay. So, uh, how fast are we going? Uh, fairly quickly, I imagine. Yeah, I can fly up. We to have a hundred. I mean, there's like no do a dash. Do you want to leave them behind and fly ahead? Yeah, that's what we'd be because we're all gonna walk. Uh, I mean, what could possibly go wrong? No, I'll stay with them. Okay. Uh, so are the rest of you hauling ass or what? Yes. Yeah, we'll haul. We'll I'll haul also ass. ask Maniz if for more healing if he wants to give it to me. Does he have any more left? Because I think it'd be a good idea. Wait, we do have. No, we have. We do have that thing where you can. We have that other um, heal. What was it? You cast heal on the entire group. Yeah, I, I already. Oh, used yeah. that. I already did that. Oh, you we already, did the scroll thing. Yeah, the scroll thing. That I did not use. Yeah. Okay. We yeah. haven't used no, it we yet. We didn't use that yet. And maybe right Let's now is a good time to use it. So, what was the spell? Is it a full fledged heal spell? It's 4d8 plus 8. Okay. All right. So, I guess my knees would have it anyways, which would make sense. Yeah, it would make sense. 4d8 plus 8, you said? Yep. Yep. I could use some more for sure, too. So, that'll be 27. Everybody gets back 27. 
Yay, I'm still down by... No, I'm back up into the triplets. I'm going to uh, haul an ass again is the full health, full surprise. health. <laughs> uh, yes, full speed ahead. Uh, you travel through the winding streets of Fulton and notice a rather well illuminated <laughs> spot ahead of you, possibly magical in nature. As you round the corner, the entire block has an intricate stonework wall. Ahead is a gate with two guards standing there, seemingly bored. Well, how do you guys want to play this? Uh, could we take a five or ten minute break before we continue on? How much time do you we need have to pee? left? I really need to go. Wait, go ahead. how All much? Right. How much? You guys got it. Yeah, oh, go ahead. You'll for be, you'll real? Be <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought he meant a five or ten minute break in game. So uh, this wall oh. is pretty high, covered with spikes. Uh, doesn't appear to be good for climbing. And there are two slack-ass guards wearing feathered helmets right there. How do you guys want to handle it? I mean, I could try to bullshit something, but they may know who I am. How far away from us are they? Uh, they're about <laughs> a half block away. And uh, everybody go ahead and do an investigate or a perception check. Uh, show up. 24. That's a D12. This makes it Can't hear you, Moniz. 18. You guys notice a wanted poster. Actually, you notice several wanted posters. Uh, one of them's Taryn. <laughs> is there a name underneath the picture? Oh, I'm sure it, 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 it is her name. Oh, it's yeah. Taryn's name. Ho, ho, ho. I haven't been going by any. No one seemed to fr friggin' care. So, What's I'm the really... reward? <laughs> <laughs> 1,000 gold pieces for treason. Oh, treason. that's a lot. I am taking that wanted poster. I'm rolling it up with me and tucking it in my pocket. Wait, wow. what was what was the DC on that? Because I did roll pretty well on that. Uh, I rolled like a 17. Yeah, you saw it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Treason? I kind of know like... That's not what I expected it to be. Everybody roll perception. But you know what? Why not? 17. Oh, no, that's all. I rolled a nat one, so I don't see shit. I'm still focused on that. Sure. Lucas? Uh, let's see. Perception. 11. Everybody's wanted for treason. Oh, oh I'm up they're there as all well? on there? No, Taryn, you don't know. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that changes my dance. plans. <laughs> yes, yes. We could be taken right to Io, actually. I don't know if I'd want to do that restrained. True, because I can't lose the staff. Yo! Oh, fuck! You four! Come here! No. Two guards? Two guards. Not leaving uh, their post, just yelling for you to come here. Uh... I, could, I throw I could, fire. No, wait, 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 wait. wait. Yes. <laughs> 23 to hit. Well, if it kills him, that's fine. So I was going to try to just do hypnotic pattern and let you save your spells. No, nope, that's, uh, it's a cantrip. It's fine. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. So yeah, 12 fire damage. Oh, shit. I book it. <laughs> <laughs> you four, come here. But the, they're just going to disregard the fire? Mm -hmm. It had no effect on them. No oh. effect? Uh, they're like Dragonborn or some shit. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> they Fucking still are resilience. not leaving their post. Detect they magic? Uh, yeah, they got magic on them. Oh, fuck. Are they They're... real? Uh, 
sounds like they're real. You can have illusions with that kind of thing, magic. They appear to be real. Yeah, I'm leaving. Uh, this They're not leaving their post. This is a free way to get out of here. Yeah, I'm they're with not Lucas. leaving Let's go. their post. Bye. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to shoot an arrow <laughs> and see if it actually hits. They're acting way too weird. Sure. Why I'm a knees and I are on our way out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I can... We audibly mentioned we were leaving. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. That More than once. <laughs> yep, it doesn't change my action. All right, we, we have, have fun with that. We have to get in that building, you two knuckleheads. Yeah, yeah. I'm taking an alternate path. There probably isn't one. A stealthy path. You understand uh, visible fly, path, right? <laughs> yeah, we fly. We can turn invisible. There are other ways. <laughs> don't have to fight these things. <laughs> My main magic attack is think... fire, and if they're invulnerable to fire, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, you know, um, I I'm gonna shoot an arrow, and then I'll. Well, I'm gonna see what happens, and then I'll retreat. They're gonna run after you. Just haven't moved yet, and you freaking lit them up. So that is a 15 plus, uh, sorry. I assume that hits anyways. It does not. Uh, Are oh, we uh, killing twi- the guards? 23. <laughs> Aaron's trying while Manise and I are fleeing. Playing's off his shield. So you four come here now. Yeah, but there's not four there now. <laughs> there's two there's there. Two. All right, they, he can still see your asses running in the darkness. Yeah, fair enough. What do you want? General Io is expecting you, and you're almost late. You two knuckleheads. He's a, we're going right to him. I guess he doesn't want to cut. I guess he doesn't want to. Um... Your entry point is here, Taryn. What about the rest of them? <laughs> uh, Lucas and Maniz, go ahead and give me perception checks to see if you hear him. Dewey, I assume, is still standing next to Taryn. I knew this seemed weird. Dumbfounded. It'll be a 23. Uh, yeah, you, strangely you, you, relief on his face. You both hear Taryn come here. And Lucas, right, you hear around, General go. Io is waiting for you. And Maniz is turning around. I'm going to wait for them to come back if they come back. Yeah, I'm fine. I'll approach, but I'll make sure I stand behind my knees. (laughs) Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, I'll be up front. You guys approach, and these guys are freaking well-armed, well-armored, but they don't have their weapons out. They don't seem to give a shit. They are both reptilian appearance, giving you the impression that they are draconian somehow uh they step aside right this way okay so we go in i'm i'm pretty sure this is leading us in right (laughs) uh the one moves ahead of you with his back to you and says follow me oh You you don't fuck with those guys yeah, they don't seem to they don't seem to give a shit. Uh, as you guys walk through this courtyard bathed in moonlight, you notice magical glass orbs illuminating it. Uh, there are a variety of fauna here. Uh, I'm sorry, flora here, uh, and it is well manicured. The guards lead you. Uh, the section between the buildings is a budding flower garden, and the sound of a bamboo tube rocking fills the air. If you've seen Kill Bill, you know what I'm talking about. You probably dropped this hint like 500 times in the green room. <laughs> the guards uh, move to in, in front of you, seemingly uncaring that you are well armed. They approach a small chair that is turned uh, with its back to you. The one guard says, my lord, the traitor has arrived with the others. A withered old man in blackened armor moves out from behind an arbor, stroking a white cat. The the arbor is decked out in red roses. (laughs) The old man doesn't look overly tough, and he waves the guards off, who snap to attention, bow, and walk away from you, seemingly uncaring. 
the old man moves over to the chair, lets the cat wander, and says, well, quite the journey you've had, but you have made it in time, and I appreciate that. The moons are nearly at their apex, and the ceremony can begin. All I require is the lovely little staff that you carry. You may keep the box, for I have no use for it. I fucking an, knew it. An amulet on his chest begins to glow, and the frail human rises up, and the appearance drops as the amulet gl glows green. An aura of power surrounds him as he extends his hand and seemingly grows twice his size into a full-fledged warrior. His hand extended, he says, I see you have done well since I let you out of your cell. You never did thank me, Taryn. No I regret. suppose you can do that now. Bring me the staff. Everybody roll initiative. Taryn's a traitor? Taryn's a traitor! Taryn's a traitor! Uh, that'll be 11. Life. God damn it. 22. 13. The same fucking 13 as earlier. <coughs> I have an idea. Manise and Lucas, what were yours? Lifting at me with 11. the fucking box. That's the idea. Huh? 22. 22. So 22, 22, 22, 13, and 11. The man patiently waits with his hand extended towards you, Taryn. Uh-uh. The only thing I'm here to do is to free you. Dewey. Lucas. The man... I was hoping it didn't come to this. His hand goes from this to this. Do we? Lucas? High five. Up. Can I give him a high five? Please. Sure, you got to move up close. <laughs> Toe to it. Put her there, man. Well, they have to go first, so. Dewey or Lucas? No. Well, I was letting Open Lucas go first because I think he's faster than me. Oh, really? So it's up to me. I decide I... the course of this entire battle. Well, no, yep. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Doesn't have to be but a I'm battle. I'm going to let you go first. It's going to be yeah, a maybe, battle. Maybe, it's going to be a battle. Talk to him nicely. You could just put yourselves in front of me and wait and see what he does. Well, I mean, I know Terran's the traitor. No, I'm so... not. No. Yeah, uh, I, did, I didn't give him the staff, did I? You yeah. haven't had the chance yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I okay. Um, so, as my action, I'm gonna throw. Oh, do how, what level can I do this at? Fifth level. I'm gonna throw fifth level lightning bolt at this guy. <laughs> yeah. Um, You're gonna Emperor Palpatine him. Uh, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> so <laughs> you uh, it's die. a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> he doesn't move. His hand is still up, and as it grows ever closer to him, it seemingly hits an invisible barrier and ricochets off, striking his cat. <laughs> I <laughs> oh. Right in that. oh. Dewey. Not oh, Mr. Bigglesworth. <laughs> okay, and so the lightning bolt totally hits a magical barrier and nothing happens. Bounces away. Yep. All right. Well, then, as my other action is my bonus, I'm going to turn into a cave bear. Sure. Uh, also, give me the uh, damage for that. What would have happened? Uh, the damage. All right. Let's see. I did that at fifth level. So it's a there creature takes. <laughs> 8d6 lightning damage at third level. So two additional 2d6. 10. So 10d6. Sure. Dewey, what are you doing? Muted. Uh, Unmuted. Oh, there you go. Unmuted. Um, I would like to do an arcana check um, just with what he did. If I might be able to understand or get around it with sure. an axe. Um, and that's going to be a 26. 
He's probably put up a wall of force of some kind. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Joy. Would I know how big a wall of force would be? Do you have that spell? Yes, I do, as a matter of fact. Oh, well, then you would know exactly how big it is. Thank you. Uh, so how big <laughs> is it again? <laughs> you, can, you can look it up. Oh, I can look it up. I think, I think it's 60. Not enough to save Mr. Bigglesworth. Not enough to save Mr. Bigglesworth. <laughs> I just fucking fried that cat. Would I know how well, high Luke, it is? Lucas helped. He killed a cat. I did. I think it's his. I think is twenty. Because it is not your standard one. Okay. And we're not inside, or we are outside. It is a barrier between you, between us. Could I get my to fly me up and over? Is what I'm. He probably can have him drop you in. Okay. I go over to my and ask. Will you fly me over this invisible? Hey, uh, hey, dude, uh, we're about to get <laughs> hey, our you, shit sir, hold the fuck on. on. <laughs> <laughs> as you turn, ar- huddle, as huddle, you turn huddle, around, Dewey, <laughs> you notice that the two guards have not left the courtyard and they're just kind of hanging back, watching. That's really weird, and I don't like this, <laughs> and I hate you, Frank. I hate you so much. Oh, you're going to hate me a lot more in a minute. I know. Okay. That's what I do. I asked Maniz if he'd fly me over this magical wall. Cool. Taryn, you're up. God damn it. I was going to... Arcana check to know if this artifact staff will work through that wall of force. Uh, You would not have any knowledge of that. Mm, You can always try it. You can always try. You might just trap the cat in there. The dead cat. The dead cat. <laughs> if you can find any pieces of it. It doesn't matter. Manisa's is not. I mean, Manisa's is probably going to do. Fuck. Uh, Manisa's is uh, going to go uh, upwards. Um, I could try. I could do vicious mockery. Oh, uh, boy. Because I think that would work. He can still hear me. Um, sure, I'll do that. God, I have no idea what to. How do I insult this guy? Jesus. You have small hands, and you're sitting at a small desk. <laughs> you're a shrivel up old prune, you asshole. You're nothing, and you don't. I can't even see how we're trying to save you. you Dim one. All right, so that is make a DC 17 wisdom. Wisdom? Wisdom. 17 on the roll plus 219. Shriveled. Oh. Shriveled am I? Manees, uh, Dewey has come running come up. Come out of you. your wall of force, you chicken. And he kind of looks behind you. You take a quick glance and you see the two guards just standing there. Not giving a shit. Uh, and he says, hey, fly me up. Uh, just End a second. Over. I will cast Dispel Magic at fourth level. Uh, That'll do thing? it. <coughs> well, maybe. There. So, anything... You're missing third, the paper, Frank. <laughs> third or lower... He's, he's not looking at me. Third or lower is done. And anything above fourth and up I have to make an ability check of DC equaling to 10 plus the spell's level. Sure. So what's the spell's level? Because I Six. assume it's, well, it's more than three. So I got DC 16. 16. <laughs> Not 20, motherfucker. Oh, that why shit. don't you tell him the bad news, Frank? That's not going to happen. <laughs> There's no spells. It's not a spell. Well... Wall of Force Ball is sack. a spell. Wall of Force is a spell, but that's not what's creating this mess. Oh, it's not. Because dis- uh, the only thing that gets rid of a Wall of Force is disintegrate, not even not even dispel. Correct. <gasps> but it's not the spell either. Wow. No! This guy's not a fucking wizard. 
I don't know what he is. He's now. evil. Not, That's he's what I know. Wizard, All right, uh, I go towards him at full throttle. <laughs> you already fly, used uh, your attack. Just fly, <laughs> fly and squawk <laughs> at him. So you're just running at him? Oh! Wait, <laughs> you're not going to fly. At this point, I give up. Why oh, don't you oh fly with the do- box open. With the box open, I run at him. You're supposed to stand behind me with the box open. He's now in front of you <laughs> with, the do, box, do, do, do. with the box open. Cool. Don't uh, cross the beams. <laughs> <laughs> say the words. Say the words. You hear him. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Taryn, give me a <laughs> charisma save, please. <laughs> You've got to go. <laughs> going to be one of those like transport to other plane fucking you, spells. You mean like banishment? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's probably not going to work. So roll to 18. That's a 27. You do not disappear. Why would a 27 not? <laughs> why would you why would you go after probably the most the person with the highest charisma save in the entire piece? He's you play the flute and tell jokes. <laughs> he doesn't actually know how high you're. My flute is awesome. Dice giveth, dice taketh away. Uh, Dewey, Dewey and Lucas. Clearly, he has tried to do something, but whatever it was failed. I don't know what's going on. I try to attack. Go ahead. Uh, let's see. Let me go to my cave bear multi attack. All right. So, bite and a claw. The. Bite was a 15 to hit, and the claw was a 21 to hit. Clang, clang. Nothing. How big is a cave bear? The cave bear, yeah, is a large beast. Could I potentially run up Lucas and try and jump over what I still believe is a wall? You can try. I will try. (laughs) Give me an acrobatics check. Athletics because I'm climbing and jumping. I'll give you athletics. Yay. Uh, uh, that is a 19. Uh, you jump up. And you are perched invisibly. Yeah. Taryn, you're up. No idea what to do. I'm officially like. I think I'm going to spend this round talking. Vindish, you need to get behind me with the freaking box. That's how it works. Uh, or you could run closer. Uh, no. Uh, not in your freaking life. Uh, I look at, I'm going to look at him and be like, what did you ever, why did you expect anything else other than be coming back with this thing to save you? Why? Why did you set up the whole thing or did you just let me out? Knees, your turn. Wait till his Um, well, yeah, I'm running at him with the box. I told um, you to afraid that's not gonna do any good. Say the words, say okay. the words, say the words. You hit the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and break hit the gems fall out of the box. Uh, did you say you were running with it open? Yeah. Oh, very good. Uh, as you run, just before you hit the wall, a goblin appears. <laughs> we know. We already oh, no, let him out. Cl- we cleared that out. out okay. 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 No, I did not remember yeah. that. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, we get out and That would be great to have a goblin appear. <laughs> that would have been. Uh, and my no. hat tips to you, sir, if that was a thing. But uh, Maniz, uh, go ahead and give me a dexterity check as you hit the wall full throttle. Does the bear get trapped in the box? Because I was up there. Uh, no, you are tr- still trying to attack General Io. Oh, I'd be pretty happy if I got trapped in the box. Yes, yeah, so I rolled the a last one. battle. Oh, very nice. <laughs> uh, the box, after you take six hit points of damage, smashing your nose open, the box falls from your grasp and <laughs> rolls away. Uh, a chuckle Fucking is heard. Moron. And Dewey, you look down to see the smiling General Io. Hear him say, Taryn, 
I knew you or one of your slut sisters would resolve this. Whoop. He drops the wall. Oh, you're shit. gonna you're gonna take two d6 damage. Can I roll acrobatics to not take all of that? D12 against me. Yay! Seven. Eight. Yeah, you can roll for half. Yeah. You roll high you. enough. Uh 26. Yeah, that's that's fine. Uh take five hit points of damage. He draws his blade and he gets three attacks, I think. Three attacks with his halberd. Oh fuck, I forgot about that. <laughs> He's going to <laughs> go after Dewey and one after Lucas. Uh, the third one will have been dropping the wall because he's getting tired. So, Dewey, there we go. Uh, 14 plus 9, 23. Yep. Uh, Lucas, 17 plus 9 is 26. Yep. Uh, odd even. Odd uh, Dewey, even Lucas. Six, even. Uh, you're going to get the brunt of the radiant damage. So each of you go is going to take whew, 14 hit points of damage. Lucas, you, he must not like bears. Uh, you are going to take yikes. <laughs> Uh, 28 radiant damage. 28 on top of that? Yep. Oh, shit. Ooh. I just uh, returned to my elven form. Wow, that was he, fast. He, yeah, he knocked out 42 hit points in one uh, <laughs> one attack. Uh, Taryn, uh, you or your slut sister was destined to bring him the item. What do you have to say to that? Uh, clearly... With him spinning that halberd, everybody but Beniz, who has a broken nose, realizes that the wall is gone. I do not have a nose. Beniz, fucking get the box and stand behind me with it open. And I'm going to friggin' ready to, I want to ready to start uh, activating the staff when he friggin' does it. He's Fine. Here. And she does, yes, and Taryn does sound pissed off. Manis, your turn. I'll do what she says. Uh, give me a wisdom. Just give me a D20. Make sure you know which way the box went. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'd be a 10. Yeah, you see it. <laughs> I grab it and I go. Scamper behind. His turn, since Lucas and Dewey are the only ones there. I held action till I got behind and the box is still open, right? Uh, the box is closed now. Okay, He's so I have to wait till he opens it. Okay, well, I'll open it. You guys have gone, haven't you? No. Oh, no. that's right. I went out of order. I'm sorry. So and I'm going to fuck up the order. If, if, if it's too much for me to activate it when he opens it, if he has an action to open it, of course, maybe he doesn't. You'll have to wait the next turn. Okay, yep. So, so Dewey and Lucas, it, uh, my apologies. It's your turn for this round. Then I will go, then you guys will go again. Since we have tied initiative, is my attack as bear form or is it as elven form? No, 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 I had a 23. I go first. You oh. two had 22s. Got it. I thought you <laughs> also had 22. Got nope. it. Nope. Go All right, this. I'm an elf. Shit. Hey, use that fifth level. Oh, wait. No, it'll have to be a fourth level lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Is that I think what you're going to do? Yeah, I think so. Fourth level lightning bolt of this guy. DC 16 dex. Uh, 14 plus 2, 16. Okay, so half damage. Okay. So uh, that is 9 D6 now instead of 10. Oh. Yeah. That is 31. He'll, he'll eat that. Do we? So 15, 30, 31 halved? Okay. 16, I guess, is what it would be after the half. Do we? Uh, Dewey starts screaming, you ruined our lives and so many libraries! And he pulls out a massive <laughs> great axe and rages and we will attack recklessly twice. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. 
But that's going to be an 18 and a natural 20 on the dies. Uh, 21 is my AC. So. so I hit both. Okay. 18 on the dies. Yep. Okay. And that is going to be 26 and 20, or not 26 and 27, but 26 plus 7, 33 slashing and five radiant now radiant uh, is not necrotic correct radiant is not necrotic gotcha <laughs> and so that's 38 total got plus. it do you want me to separate those or no just okay. anybody using necrotic can let me know uh Maniz and Terran have already gone uh i am gonna go uh, Dewey gets the second attack. Even Lucas gets the second attack. Please, Dewey. The so one. So Dewey gets two attacks. Lucas gets one. Uh, Lucas, which one do you want? Uh, I don't know. Take Big Red. It's been rolling like shit tonight. Sure. Big Red it is. Uh, 18 on Dewey. Yep. 23 on Dewey. Yep. And 17 on Lucas. That's a miss. Uh, <coughs> 1d10 and 48. Jesus. Uh, Dewey's going to take a beating here. Probably. Yeah, Dewey. Yeah, not so much. I uh, will probably need damage separated out. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I get advantage on you, don't I? You get advantage. Let me see if I got better than that. Uh, 14 plus 9, 23. You're looking for 20s. You've already hit me twice. Okay. So first, uh, first damage uh, is a 6 plus 5, 11. That is piercing. Okay. Rounded down to five. Okay. The radiant damage, well, times two if I hit you both times. Okay. So so 10. Back to 11. Okay. So then, well, no, it would be five and five. Okay. If you want to do that. Yeah, because if I hit you both, I'm giving you the damage total, and then because I hit you twice, it's twice. Gotcha. Uh, the, the radiant is 10 and seven, 17. Radiant damage. So 10 and 7 or 17? 17, 17, 17 and 17 on the radiant. 17 and 17. Okay. 34. And he begins to sing a tune as he attacks. Uh, Dewey and Lucas. Wait a minute. You went out of order. Correct. Last round, I went out of order. Last round, I went me, Taryn, Maniz, yeah. forgot you two. You two just went, this is the new round, me, then you two, then Taryn, okay. and then Maniz. Yeah, I fucked okay. that up last round, but oh, okay. we're, we're, we're back on now. track. So Dewey and Lucas, you guys are up. Um, He's swinging a, that fucking halberd pretty nicely. Yeah, this is making me worried. This is not normally how I fight. Uh, I'm usually doing it from the back lines. All right. Uh, I am going to uh, try and get him prone on the ground. <laughs> so I need the acrobatics or athletics. Big Red gives me 19 plus 15, 15, 5 if I want it. 12. Um, I'm at 26. Uh, 17, what I say, 19 and five yeah. is 24. Yeah. So you are prone on the ground. I'm going to use one of my actions. <laughs> Reaction? Reaction? No. Legendary um, action. Legendary. legendary. Yeah. That yeah. takes place between character turns. Yeah. So you're just on the ground until I'm done with you. Sure. Okay. And with that, that is... Oh, Kyle laying the smack down with the rules. 
I you know, do it to that. you too, you son yeah. of a bitch. Well, I, <laughs> I, I will always uh, go with the smartest person in the room. So. And twenty-one on AC, so Correct. I think that just barely hits, right? Oh my god, this is exciting though. What's twenty-one, like yeah. Twenty-one is um, his AC. Seven damage. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Uh, he is up. Lucas, what do you want to do? Uh, so is he prone now or no? No, nope, in between. In between, although, he takes his action to stand up. No, he's using his legendary save. Le- this isn't a save. He's just prone. Oh, okay. Then he's yeah. still prone. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll play and see it. Uh, he is still prone, Lucas. Okay. So, with my attack, I'm going to swing with my magic sword. Okay. At advantage? At, At advantage. advantage. At advantage. He is prone. Um, that's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled two ones. <laughs> Did it happen? No, I rolled two twos, which is, <laughs> which is probably just as... Not as bad, but it's still pretty bad. I miss, is what I'm saying. And then as my bonus action, uh, let me understand this. Where are we at? Are we in a courtyard? Yeah. Is there any ledge or rooftop where I can still see this guy, but like be out of melee range? There's an arbor. Was that tree? What's the it, it's it, it's the it, it's the half know. rectangle pergola. Kind you of a pergola. idiot. You don't know what an arbor is? Frank, explain it to him what an arbor is. <laughs> oh my God. All right. It's uh, pie. <laughs> so either way, I'll be out of range of melee attacks at that. <laughs> Cherry or apple? No, that's the closest one. You can jump into a tree or move to one side of the courtyard or the other. No, 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 no. I, I have a bonus action that I can take Misty Step and I can basically like teleport to a certain spot I see. Right. So I, I'm trying I, to get I, out of range I, so I, I can trust start me, throwing spells. I'm familiar. <laughs> got it. Got it. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. 30 feet, though, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So is there a place within 30 feet that I can kind of teleport out of the way and start throwing spells from, and I won't be in range of that sword? Oh, yeah. Halberd. The halberd. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. You'll Whatever. be out of range of it. Cool. Then, yeah, I want to do that. I want to misty step uh, 30 feet away from the sky. <laughs> As my bonus action. Behind him, to his right, to his left, or behind these two? Where are the guards at that I know of? The guards are behind those two. And they uh, still are... So I want to be on the opposite side of this prone dude. Okay. And that's the guards, fair. right? So I, I'll be able to see the guards behind the down guy. Taryn and Manise. All right. Dewey uh, looks like shit. Um... Dewey looks a lot like shit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but we. we and he's alone start. with the melee range. You do you. You do you. <laughs> I'm just saying, Dewey looks like shit. <laughs> I, I we gotta we gotta. Stu- I mean, this is the best way to get you out of this is to friggin' flip him from being evil. Sure. Yeah. Do I'm it. gonna do I'm gonna aim the thing at him. I'm like, you know, you probably had the wrong sister bring it back to you, because I'm gonna try to fix. This. Raider. <laughs> No, I pointed at him. I pointed at uh, I. What are the words you say? I say Captus Morgolis. Oh, very nice. And assume that activates it. It does. A beam of light uh, goes right for him, dead on, and ricochets off that amulet of his. What do you know? Manise. What do you want to do? Uh, <laughs> squawk dis- and flap at him. You can't dispel an item, can you? No. An artifact? The amulet? Not in Frank's world. As far as I knew, I thought you could dispel anything that was... Well, keep I in thought- mind, he wanted you to bring it, so he probably knows what it does. No, the amulet around his neck that's deflecting it. Oh, yeah, you can't dispel that. Manise, what are you doing? Could I fire my crossbow at said amulet? 
You'll have to put the box down. Well, the box is absolutely useless right now. I, I could tell yeah. that because it's just deflecting. Sure. So I will... Uh, do I want to go for damage or do I want to try to break the amulet? Or, or... Maybe I should heal Dewey because I'm the cleric. <laughs> or, or, or play my character the right way. Or uh, fly away. They were all good options, tell you the truth. Fly away. Flying away is an option. Not one I will take. It you can outrun is. the evil. Uh, for a little bit. Um, <laughs> you do you. No, I will do... No, no, you do my knees. Uh, where the... Fuck is that thing? Okay, cure wounds. Oh no, I got to tie. How close am I to? No, I'm too far for that. <laughs> uh, this is not working. This is the first time I'm looking at his spells. No, no, no. It's just fuck. <laughs> Holy shit! I didn't feet. realize I had that spell. <laughs> no, it's just ten minutes, and then I got to or touch, which means I got. Hey, hang close. on! I need ten minutes to cast. Yeah, exactly. By all means, go ahead and take your time. <laughs> um. Uh <laughs> shit. All right, I'll just take a shot. Sorry, Dewey. Nope, that's okay. Uh, let's take a crack shot at this guy. Head. Do I get advantage? He is on the ground. I mean, yeah, but... I, I hit a nat 20, but do I still get advantage? No, <laughs> no, you saw it. No, you're firing a range. You're firing ranged at someone prone. You get disadvantage. He's prone, right? No, or is he up? Well, either prone. way, I rolled... Yes, okay, good. so yes, I rolled good. a nat 20 and and a 23. Oh, 26 and 23. 23. Hits. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 23 so hits. That'll be five damage. No, nope, seven damage. I apologize. Piercing to the thing. On the ground, General Io clasps the gem and said, Oh my, I feel the vapors coming upon me. Oh, so now he's southern? Cool. Yep. Dewey, Lucas, it's your turn. Give me a give me a perception check. Perception. I'm good at these. Now. 16. 10. Lucas, something weird just happened, but you can't put your finger on it. Dewey, Lucas, you guys are up. Something weird happened, like he grabbed the amulet. Something happened. Mm-hmm. Oh. I mean, would I had time to yell up front to them? I mean, no. I'm not up front. No, so do we to grab the amulet? I mean, it doesn't matter. I, I still have um, limited options, so I'm going to throw another lightning bolt. Fourth level. I, I assume you're going to arc it right down at the ground, right? Where he's at? Uh, I, is it possible I can avoid Dewey with the shot? Because mm. Dewey's on the other side of the down guy, right? Yeah, huh. and, and I'm going to make you roll just in case. And if you do it really badly, Terran and Maniz is in the uh, area of effect. I'll take those odds. So he's prone, and he has to do a deck save. So sure. how do you want to do that? Disadvantage, DC 16? Sure. All right, let's do it. He passes. That's the legendary save. Yeah, he can. No, that's right. It is not. <laughs> he's not there anymore. It looks like he's there. Go ahead and roll a d20 for me. A d20? Am I looking for high or low rolls? One or two goes straight on through. Three okay. or four, Dewey's going to get caught in the impact. Either way, they're only going to suffer half. Okay, that was an eight. Okay. No, there's a smoking hole, and this little fucker is hovering above it. Dewey, you're up. You're attacking at the same time. I'm attacking at the same time. Mm -hmm. I'm dropping the great axe to jump on top of him. Sure. I jump on top of him. Ah, into the hole you go. <laughs> Terran, you're up. You just noticed Dewey passed right through the body. I stopped the artifact. Oh, it, it just shoots out a jet. It's not a constant thing. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be a constant <laughs> thing. Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Is it, Ray, you're about take... to burn off my face. <laughs> no, you have shot once. Okay. 
Is there a sense that there's a limited shot she can take with it? No one has mentioned that. <laughs> I think hey, this is why we were ask, joking ask, that. We ask the that guy. <laughs> oh, he's dead. So what do you want to do, Taryn? <laughs> oh, um, cast detect magic. Where at? Uh, I believe I can just look. Uh, no, so, detect magic is a self spell. That's right. So I just look. Uh, anything within 30 feet of me, if I sense magic in that way, you can use my action to see or on any visible creature or object in the area that bears magic. Do we, I assume you have magical items? So if he's displaced or anything like that? because The he great axe that him. I left outside of the hole is magical, and the dremel I used to stab things with is magical. There's a faint glow coming from the hole. But, but, the, but, but he's not there. And there's no invisible. I actually can't see invisible. Um, Dewey passed right through him. Yeah. Mm. Where does the staff telling me I should go? It doesn't. So clearly, he's probably close. I don't think I took that spell. It suck. I mean, I can't cast it now. I do not have seen visibility. So when he grabbed the amulet and he said something about vapors, is now now he's incorporeal or something? <laughs> or we'll know, we'll know in two people. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Well, I mean, that's pretty much my action anyways, because that's... The thing. Manise, that's the you're up! Shoot your crossbow. Um, yeah. I mean, why At not? what? At the, the, at the oh. body! Of course! <laughs> no, there's no... Well, there's is there a body? not there. <laughs> yeah. It's not there, that's right. Dewey jumped on it and passed right through it. It could be some kind of Wait. illusionary spell or something is the else. illusion Is the illusion still there? Mm-hmm. The illusion is good enough to trick Manise into shooting Dewey. Come on. Dewey's in a hole. Come on. <laughs> are, you shoot- hole. are you shooting it? Well, if I saw Dewey go through it, I, I wouldn't. Okay. Now let's. You saw Dewey go through it. D12 against oh. me, Manise. <sighs> yeah, well, this is a real tough one. Nine. Little two. Eh, what you want to do? Hmm. Yo, I have nothing. Like, I have absolutely nothing I can do here. I'm going to do nothing because I can't think of anything that I could do in any way that would help. Fair enough. Uh, uproarious laughter is heard behind Taryn and Maniz, and they're both going to get attacked. 13 plus 9 on Terran. Without a doubt. Uh, 15 plus 9 on Maniz. Uh, and I'm going to use my movement as my third attack, yelling, Come here, you little gnome. I've got something for you. Uh, odd even. Odd Terran even Maniz will determine radiance. That's a 10, Maniz. You are in deep shit Jeez, trouble. What was, the, what was the hit? Uh, 15 plus 9. You, he I think. Hit you. Yeah. Uh, you don't you know my AC. Both, uh, he hits me. I know, you don't know my AC. I know it's not 20. You guys both take 7. Manise, yeah, you take not... considerably more oh, than that. No. Yeah, last time I did 28 can... damage to me. <laughs> I can take 28. Not too many times, but I can take 20. 7, 10, 4, 4, uh, 18 radiant damage. Plus, and plus what? 6? 7. 7. Plus 7, 7 is the physical damage, and the other is the radiant. And the figure of General Io just slashes through you two, and he's headed <laughs> right for Dewey the Gnome, because he fucking hates gnomes. Uh, he moved before Dewey and, and after? He was behind you. Oh, okay. 
the amulet teleported him behind you. Dewey and Lucas, uh, Dewey, you look up out of the hole and you <laughs> see the laughing figure of General Io headed right for you after slashing the hamstrings of your two associates. Which one of you wants to go first? He is out in the open. I have another fourth level spell slot, so I'm going to throw a lightning bolt again and hope. <laughs> um, sure. DC 16 deck save. 19 on the roll. All right, so half damage. <laughs> Uh, Still damage. Uh, mm-hmm. Half of 35. Uh, 17. Four is 17. Well, that's rolled, rounded down. I want to round up. Yeah, no. <laughs> Still 17. <laughs> yeah. That's not bad. Dewey, what are you doing? Uh, Dewey, Dewey, in his holistic rage... Uh, uh, just screams, runs out of the hole, and we are going to, as the first attack, tackle the general. So, uh, athletics or acrobatics. No Adobe Flash player, I don't need you right now. (laughs) Fuck you. Fuck you, Frank. You lie. I do not lie. If I would (laughs) have lied, I would have had the sorcerer kick your ass. It's a, uh, a, a, a skill check, yes. So what did you get total? 26. 30 with an 18. Oh! Very nice. Oh, Jesus. Uh, and having oh. uh, uh, tackled him to the ground, I'm going to rip or strangle him with the amulet. <laughs> the amulet is attached to his breastplate. Oh, so it does not come off easily, huh? I will I uh, pull out a magic Dremel and start cutting the breastplate off of him. Sure. Uh, <coughs> what do you want to do? Hit him. Hit him. Okay. Oh, my God. Prone at advantage. Prone at advantage. Um, that is going to be another... 21 barely hits him. Barely hits him. You start carving <laughs> in on the amulet. Taryn. Oh, shit. Um, I don't know what to do. I can try. Well, I can try shooting it again. And I'll say Captus Margolis and I'll shoot it, see if it still absorbs into that amulet. Okay. Uh, Manise, you dropped the box last time, right? Well, I put it down, yes. Okay. Uh, Taryn? But it is still behind me. Right. Yeah, it would have been where I was. Where you I was. fire it off. Uh, it goes a little bit high, apparently. Okay. Manise. So it didn't get sucked in. Correct. It did not go into the amulet. Okay, interesting. Probably Manise, because he had some box. fat gnome on him. Pick up the box. Pick up the box. Pick up the box. I will pick up the box. Do I chant the words now? You open. Did you open it yet? Well, I'll open <laughs> it and then chant the words. Do yeah. I chant them? Captain uh, You hear General Io scream in pain. Top of the order. What the f- Dewey. Perception check. Eat Perception boss, check. Bitch. Man, you know, in order for a dice tower to work, you actually have to get it into the tower. That's 16. what she said. Something just happened. <laughs> what? Dewey and Lucas. Why am I putting it in her tower? Dewey and Lucas, you're up. <laughs> I just had an amazing idea. No? Yeah. So oh. after I heard that this is a metal breastplate, <coughs> I use my very... Uh, oh, fuck you. I use this spell, but I don't use it awesome. Oh, you, uh, can't, you can't see, see heat metal. Um. <laughs> Oh, no. Burn him the fuck out of his armor. Basically, choose a manufactured Burn, metal we... object, such as do a metal we... weapon or a suit of heavy or medium metal armor that you can sure. see within range. <coughs> you cause the object to glow red hot. A creature in physical contact with the object takes 2d8 oh, fire sure. damage and casts a spell. Until the spell ends, you can use a bonus action on each of your subsequent turns to cause this damage again. With doing awesome. right do on top up. of it. Yeah. Oh, shit. I want to see how much damage I do, though. <laughs> uh, 10 sure. fire damage this turn. Okay. Dewey, you're up. Um, I.O. and Dewey, I think. 
No, if this breastplate is on fire, both you and I have to make constitution saving throws. The breastplate is not on fire. It's not on fire. And nor are you chipping at anything what solid. The, even with the... Oh, like, is it ghosting away again? Mm. Terran! Okay, well, hold on. I am going to... Uh, Does he fall into the hole again? There's no hole here. Oh, oh, you tackled oh, okay. him on the ground. But Dewey knows that uh, there's no pressure on his groin and his legs aren't touching anything. You can see General Io, but he ain't there. Okay. Um, I will um, take the dodge action. As I scream, what a shitless coward he is. <laughs> Taryn. Yeah, he really is. Um, turn around. He's there. And I, I've, I've, I'm only trying to switch positions with my knees because he's got the box open now and I'm going to fire at him. Sure. Do I have to roll? You're rolling, so. Uh, you laughed. You hit one and of I the will... guards. Uh, and what happens? And I do say the magic words, by the way. I just. The guard rolls a four. Maniz, something's in the box. Let it. Oh, God, let it out. Fuck. Let don't it out don't let box. it out. Don't let it out. Why, why would we let it out? Why not? At this point. Maniz, she says, let it out. Give me a perception check. That'll be a dirty 20. You look to the left, you see one guard and General Io, but something went in the box. Ah, one of the guards. Don't let it out of the box. Well, uh, if you no. don't let him out, then we can't put anything else in there. One thing. Ah, only okay, let the guard out. Go in the box. Oh, where do we? How how is this rule rule come about? Can't we put something else in the box? And no places like normal. No. One, one thing gets in the box. One Always thing that only. Way. That's that was yeah. That's in the info. Otherwise, Blake would have put all of you in that fucking. No, no. Box. I'm yeah. saying like we don't need to let the other person out ahead of time. In the past, what we did is it would just swap the places of the person being put in the box. So I would go in and the oh, I thought it had to be empty to put something else. Well, I mean, in. that's what happened previously without the rod. We correct. would just swap places. Oh, then Lucas all right, then correct. never mind. I don't say that then. But do you want to let him out of the box, box or no? Um, well, let him out now or no? Like, what do you let him out now or no? I don't say it. I don't say let him out. I'm letting him out. Fair enough. Uh, the disheveled. Uh, draconian is not happy. General Io does not appear to be amused either. Everybody give me a perception check before he attacks. Yeah. Uh, that's 13. pretty good. Um, that's a 19. 26. Dude, that's a 20. 26 on Lucas? Yeah. Dewey? 15. Maniz? 13. Uh, General Lyle announces that he has had enough of this bullshit, and since you are not going to give him the staff, he is going to take it. Odd, uh, Terran, even Maniz. I've got the staff. Three. Makes sense. Terran, you get two attacks. Maniz, which one do you want? I'll take the clear one. Add nine. Uh, 18, 19, this and 27. Uh, 18 and 27 is Terran. Uh, 19, does Shit. 19 get you 19 minis? ties, so yes. Okay, so Terran, you will take twice as much here. Whew. Six plus five, uh, 11. Terran, you take 22. Maniz, you take 11. Terran, you're going to get the radiant damage. I took 22, right? Yep. Yep. Oh, shit. 
23 hit points, Terrence. I'm not... Top of 11. No, on, on top, top of, of the 22. 11. Oh, yeah. On top, yeah. She got 22. I'm looking Still really, up? really, really, really bad. But I mean, if yes. she's down, it's mission failure. So, do you, no, Lucas? You're there. up. It's, yeah, and really, this isn't surprising. It's the best way to get for me. Um. Oh no! I noticed the amulet isn't glowing anymore, and I shout that out. We use our words. <laughs> <laughs> I use words. Um. I I assume that the shout. I don't know if that takes an action or not. No. All right. You're 60 feet away, though. Oh, okay. I make sure I... Uh, General Io is now focused in on Maniz and Terran as he's sick and tired I, of this crap. Okay, cool. Uh, do I see where Io's at now? I mean, since I saw the family... Oh, going. yeah. Plain as, plain as day. Um, yeah. He hit Terran. He hit Maniz. All right, I'm going to use another yeah. second level spell slot. And... I am going to use heat metal again. Range? 60 feet. Okay, good. That'll work. Cool. And that is eight fire damage to Io. <coughs> and also, hopefully everyone heard that I said amulet isn't glowing. I, I noticed it too. So Dewey, 60 feet away. Ah, so I heard it. I'm like, away. yes, you're right. Oh. No, I, I'm sorry. You're 30 feet away. 30 feet away. Okay. Lucas was farther back. Okay. Uh, uh, same as the previous round, I'm going to run at General Io and tackle him to the ground. So um, athletics check again. 18 plus another 5. 18 plus 12, so 30. Wow. Uh, now, wait a minute. Am I doing something wrong? How do you get 12? Okay, so do you have any skill uh, proficiencies in athletics or acrobatics? Yeah, I see that now. I get plus nine. <laughs> you get plus nine. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, sh- yeah, it still would have lost last time and this time and every other time because <laughs> I'm better. <laughs> sure. <laughs> He's a plus 12, so yeah, he is better than him. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I just reach up for the balls and yank them down. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, no, um, at that point, I'm going to run up to him um, after having pushed him down to the ground. And I'm going to wrap myself around his neck and grapple him on the ground. Sure. So turtle another, him up. Turtle him up, essentially. So um, another athletics or acrobatics. Don't make Use it a too plus hard. nine this time. Don't uh, make it- 26. 26. Uh, 26 as well. So. Reroll. Uh, it goes to you. Okay. Yeah. Can I'm you down on him? the ground, though. Can you, you hug him to one side so I have friggin' room to hit him? He, Again, did, he didn't I'm, get me wrapped up, so. I'm wrap, trying to wrap myself around yeah. his neck to keep Remember, him. I can hit you, too. He's And he's rolling for the odds, I think, on and who I'm hitting. Remember, the breastplate is glowing red hot. It is yeah. Not glow- is it? Yes. Yeah, because I have oh, this for every again? minute. Yeah, I did it again. This is and dead, it lasts for up to a this minute. This is Deadpool 2. <laughs> really? I'm <is>. Fire Fist. <laughs> <laughs> you take 1d10, I think. Uh, it's 2d8 for 2D8. fire. Yeah. But that only happens at my turn. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Taryn, what are you doing? Um, what's your save? It's on his turn, not yours, Dewey. If it's glowing red hot, I have to make a save to either decide to hold on to it or oh. not. Uh, well, it says you cause the object to glow red hot. Any creature in physical contact with the object takes 2d8 fire damage when you cast the spell. Right. Until the spell ends, you can use a bonus action on each of your subsequent turns to cause this damage again. So Keep it going. seems like there's so no, no that was it. That was the end of the, the description. Yeah, no save. Man. Yeah, it basically says just choose a, an object within range and it casts it. So I don't think it's causing damage to you right now. If a creature is holding or wearing the object and takes damage from it, the creature must succeed on a constitution saving throw or the drop the off- object if it can. If it doesn't drop the object, it has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability oh, nice. checks until the start of your next turn. My heat metal spell does not say that. So that's interesting. Huh. 
Maybe they have a paraphrased version. On the card? It's yeah. the Frank version. Oh, yeah, yeah. I no, don't no, the, card, the card doesn't put everything. <laughs> well, I mean, the thing is, if you fail a constitution saving throw, you have disadvantage on all your weapon attacks and all your uh, ability checks. And if I fail it, I just have to let go of you and I can't touch you. All right. But it's DC 16 then. I'm going to continue to hold it on though. So I'm right. willingly taking the disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. All right. I think it's my turn though. Yep. <laughs> so uh, uh, rinse and repeat. I, I'll keep since it's shooting. I guess I have to say that friggin' phrase every freaking time. I feel hot. Uh, so, yeah, Captain Spergolus, I swear it's like the ink can't to get to go off. And I will carefully aim around. Dewey. Carefully aim. And, and I make sure Manise is behind me. Yeah. Manise, do you have the box open? Yeah. He are, yeah, he did open it. Uh, the beam of light goes ahead and encompasses General Io. And That's it. Say the words. Say the words. <laughs> I did. Okay. Well, he said, said the, the words. No, both of you say the words. He, he said <coughs> the words when he opened the box. Do I need to say them again? I'll say them again if I have to. Just start say it saying again. it over no, and over and over again. again. Got this one, Gola! <laughs> <laughs> the inert form of weird. General Io begins to levitate and get sucked into the box. The lid slams shut. A vibration is felt oh, here it goes. in the staff, and it yep. explodes, catching everyone in the, the blast. Range of the blast. What's the range of the blast? 60. <laughs> <laughs> Dexterity right. saving throws, or Are constitution, or... Not from the artifact, boys and girls. Uh, <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> He's going to actually kill me. I'm pretty sure. What's massive damage in this? Double? That is a lot. <laughs> is, it, is it double your full hit points as you die from yeah, massive instant damage? Death. So if you, it's if you get it, brought down to your max uh, hit points, you're dead. But he's so negative yeah. max. I'm going to probably go there. I 42 it damage. Path. How much? 42. 42. You what did kinds? not kill me. I'm, I'm down, but I am not dead. What kind of damage? I am out. Uh, radiant damage. Okay. I, I'm sorry, necrotic damage. But I should have probably used the thing I was going to use, but that wouldn't have worked. So, <coughs> Maniz, how many hit points do you have? Well, I have zero. Terran. Well, it would be minus, that was 42 minus You five. have zero. I have zero. Lucas. 61. Dewey. 12. Oh, oh fuck. Nice. Uh, Lucas and Dewey, D12. All righty. We got to keep this in. I have to make. Yeah, we have to make this saves there. Uh, 12. Got it. Lucas. One. Oh, <laughs> okay. Dewey. <laughs> you sit up your eyes are cloudy from the pain you notice Taryn and Manise are down Lucas is stirring a little bit oh I never uh, went down you I, was were out of the, I was out of the blast radius weren't you 60 feet you were 60 away 60 feet. no I was, six, I was 60 feet away from uh, what's his face and Mayo. you guys were on the other side of him. So when he got pulled to you guys, he, got he was more than 60 box. feet. Yeah. You, you were within range. This is the finale, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're I tore two damage, and it. I'm in range. Hey, got Frank, it. Frank, it's an artifact. Say it was 100 feet. It was 101 <laughs> feet. All right, how much at? damage did One I take One more then? foot than you. Uh, I don't you're know, up. 42. 42. You're and still up. And what was the safe? None. None. Oh, there's... Uh, so I just took 42 damage. Okay. You're awake. Are you awake? Yeah, I'm still up. Okay. How I, many hit I, points do you have? Uh, 19. 
Okay. Uh, Dewey, uh, Taryn, and Manise appear to be dead. Uh, the staff is again in three pieces, smoldering, and the box sits in the center of all of you, looking over. 61 feet away is Lucas, <laughs> who is stirring, and he also rises. Oh, my ribs. What would you two like to do? Also note, the moon is bathing the courtyard in light. I say we open the box. <laughs> 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 Let's start a new campaign. Yeah, no, I'm. Uh, I, I'm Dewey joking. grabs the box and stows it away safely. I take Lucas, one of the, the staff parts. I take the <laughs> the globe. That's my favorite. Manis, Darren, death roll. Oh, those. We should probably have uh, stabilized them. Yeah. However, I do roll. Wait, where did I roll there? Uh, no, that's a fail. Manis? So yeah, that probably be a good idea. Oh, that was so close to a one. It's not even. It was funny. not a one. <laughs> <laughs> I was close. a five. It was not a, a one. It's a nineteen. It's a nineteen. Ooh. One and one. Uh, I... Lucas, you grab one of the fractured pieces. Dewey. I've got and the Lucas, box. you guys are up. You've got the box. I'm going to attempt to stabilize Terran, which rules are as written as a fifteen medicine check. I don't have medicine, and it's Don't a zero. you have a fucking healing potion still? Nope. Or did you use, oh, you but used it. 15 on the die. <laughs> who, are you, who are you stabilizing? Taryn. Lucas? Um, well, first, I'm going to take care of me. So as a bonus, can I drink my healing potion? Sure. Manise, death save. <laughs> well, but, well I mean, if it's a bonus, oh, then my shit. action is to cast Cure Wounds on my knees. Well, you're at, so take your action first. <coughs> no, I, I want to I wanna take care of myself first oh, as a bonus. Jesus knees, Christ. roll your dice. <laughs> so that's a fail. I rolled a five. One and so one. You've, one, and one. You've healed yourself, Lucas. Now you may take your action. Okay. So you, you guys are all operating at the same time frame is what I'm getting at. Oh, okay. Well, I healed myself for 13 last action. Uh, then I give Manis cure wounds at first level. <laughs> Seven plus five. I don't know. I think it's plus four. So He's 11 fine. hit points. Uh, your eyes blink and you come back from the icy stare of death Taryn Ooh. is at zero boys and girls I didn't kill any of you what that's it that's and it. then I kill Taryn we're not gonna wrap up any other plot threads uh after we this long. adventure I will march back to the academy with the magic box with Dewey and them and return it to the academy and be heroes Anybody want to tell them the story? <laughs> the Academy doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> I'll find that out in a few weeks when I get there. We <laughs> did not kill any of you. A the clamor is there? heard Hold behind on. you. Clamor? A clamor. Uh, the one a man guard. in bloody armor breaks through and <sighs> in. You recognize him as Lord Bushmill. Behind him, his troops file in. The two guards drop their weapons and raise their hands. He orders the men to take care of them and looks at you four, except for Taryn, who's nearly dead. Uh, Wait, am I conscious? You're nope, stabilized. You're stabilized. Okay. Uh, you need ringer's lactate. Uh, General Bushmill looks at all three of you and looks at Dewey. Explanation now. We did it. Oh, also, your friend is dying at the lighthouse from poison. What? <laughs> General, we didn't poison him. <laughs> yeah. 
Is she dead? Who? The only her here. Uh, Rose no. petals fall upon your face, Taryn. Like I know. I guess I'll cure her. Cure wounds. Well, I guess I could too. But... Too, too uh, let's just leave her out for an hour or two and uh, enjoy Keep the silence. silence. <laughs> Taryn, you get eight hit points. All right. Uh, I'm not you, too concerned right now. You, <laughs> albeit... Uh, Anyone who died, Manise and Taryn. <laughs> we didn't died. die. You guys are scarred up. Uh, I who, wants, sure. who wants the missing eye and who wants the damaged leg? <laughs> oh, game plate for me. I, I'll be like I one wanted... of those birds. I, 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 I Taryn, even oh, Manise, the hey. eye. I wanted I the got leg. This die that is supposed to tell you where you got injured horribly. Dewey is oh, going to roll for I? Taryn and then Manise. Please, please roll something cool. Taryn, Taryn. She has no beheaded, beheaded. Beheaded. No, then I'd be dead. Your left leg is gone. Gone. Manise. Crippling damage from an artifact. Well, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, you have a hobbled right foot. Nice skin foot. You have gout. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, uh, it was a long, strange journey. 43 episodes. Uh, we appreciate you sticking Only 43? Around. Only 43. Wow, guys. You Every other week, night. man. Yeah. Every other week. Uh, let's do final thoughts. And Tuesday night, we're going to do a full recap on the campaign. So final thoughts, Manise. Yeah, that was fun. Se- second, second uh campaign i finish so that was that was good nice carol i didn't die i mean what a shocker that is right oh man <laughs> shocker Not i didn't die trying. final thoughts this is a final thought um wait so her leg is gone gone uh well there's ways to fix that up yeah um, do we can craft a replacement are we here? Are we considered heroes of the realm? Is there like great parades and stuff like? Is there? Yeah. You know, you have to find out on Tuesday. I think our good actions. Oh wait, potentially so outweigh Tuesday, the bad actions. So people have to watch Tuesday. Essentially, that's like in. Yeah, the you know, block? I kind of wanted to watch <laughs> or listen on the oh, podcast I, when it shows up between the rolls. Or I on thought. YouTube. Oh, I thought Tuesday was going to be a QA. All right then. Uh, good, then I can't wait till Tuesday. And since it was Thanksgiving weekend, first of all, thank you guys. You guys are awesome to play with. You are interesting. She's and lying. it was challenging. Lying, I'm not lying. lying she is ass. buttering us up more nope. than the rolls on Thanksgiving. Nope. Uh, yeah, no, no, you guys are great. I'm sorry, uh, Chris. Thanksgiving is an American holiday. No, it is isn't. Uh, it's, Canada, it's, has, Canada has, has it month. too. It's Canada <laughs> has it too. And he made a turkey that looked fantastic. And was, their too. COVID numbers went through the roof. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, wait, 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 wait. Hey, you never let me finish. I want to say, I want to say, oh thank my you. god, but wait, I was gonna All say, All right, good night, guys. We'll see you later. You know, if see we go Tuesday. Up, if he goes so much faster, you guys would just shut up. I <laughs> have to piss. Please finish. <laughs> all I was gonna I'm say, was, hey, hey, all I was gonna say is, Frank, thank you. That was the shit. that was phenomenal couple of fights at the end i feel like they'll be dragged out the first fight way too long yeah, yeah it was you should have just fled fight. yeah i wanted to but fucking dewey had to go back in there and she's not gonna leave to Ernest, final thoughts uh i think that went uh, as well as expected i mean Better. i really thought we would have died <coughs> um yeah i think it turned out pretty well i wasn't as evil this campaign as i i could have been I dialed it back a little mm. bit towards the end. We appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Kyle. I was questioning whether I was going to have to kill Lucas at the very end there, too. And to be honest, I think he had a shot of walking out of there with the three of us dead. Uh, it was Easily. close. <laughs> yeah. Uh, folks, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit on Discord, we've got the channel. If you want to buy our stuff, we've got that too. Uh, don't forget, we are moving 
uh, we are adding, not moving, to an audio only, and that's tinyurl.com slash audio. Uh, that way you don't have to look at our ugly mugs, but you can still listen to the hilarity. Tuesday, between the rolls, we will focus on what happened, why it happened, and what could have happened. So please join us for that. This Thursday, Cacophony. This Saturday, uh, Kyle's taking the realm or the helm. Uh, one shot. So if you're interested in one shot, M Hobo Inc. Twitter, uh, Gmail, hit us up. Uh, Pirate Dog Dice, thanks. Uh, Big Red could have rolled a little bit better this time. And of course, oddfishgames.com uh, next Sunday. Uh, how to RPG with your cat. Folks, for all of us here at the end of a very long wow. journey, we appreciate it. New campaign in January. Let's all wave and have the producer take us out. So long. Farewell. Farewell. Thank you, everybody. I'll be to say goodbye. Thanks so much.